Maybe we should revisit this tomorrow yeah. when we have a little more time. We have eight minutes. <laughs> Hot Dog found out. Uh, well, the good news is, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because before we were talking about and Hot Dog's dad had had an accident yeah, and was in a coma. Yes. It was like a construction accident. Sure. The good news is Hot Dog's dad is not in a coma. <laughs> yes, that's true. We found that out. Like within the last week, or Hot Dog found that out. You just found that out in the last week. Mm -hmm. Here's the The guy you thought was your dad isn't your dad. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! (laughs) It's not correct. He didn't. He didn't inseminate his mom. How did you find out? I overheard. (laughs) You overheard who? My family talking about it at home. Everyone knows but you. Yeah. Everyone knows this guy is not your dad. Yeah. Who is he? He's her mom's boyfriend. There's a lot of mysteries. Guy. And for 25 years or whatever, you thought he was your father? Yep. Where's your real dad? I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. DR. Where is he? I think he might be my dad. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Here's the thing. The guy, Hot Dog's got a couple half-brothers. Mm-hmm. The guy that is the father of those kids with Hot Dog's mom, not only do the brothers look like Hot Dog, but the guy looks like Hot right. Dog. <laughs> so yeah. it's pretty. it's pretty clear. So... They were talking. Yeah, Hot Dog told us this off the air. They were, t- and I'm sure that he he meant for it to be on the air. But <laughs> they were talking. He just overheard them saying like, "You got to tell Hot Dog," and they, they call were, him Hot Dog or whatever oh, his there, name oh. is. I always forget. <laughs> but they, they're like, "You got to tell Hot Dog." Oh no, we don't need to tell him yet. We don't need to tell him yet. So he started getting suspicious, talking about it. He looked at the photos and everything. Then there's like legal stuff. We'll just say. Mm-hmm. Around uh, around this man who's in a coma, and uh, he got a text from a lawyer before anyone in his family had talked to him, saying, "Is this is your is he actually your dad? Is he your stepdad?" She was doing research. Do you, sure. Do you have okay. any? Is there any sort of blood relation? Is his name on the birth certificate? And Hot Dog showed me the text. He's like, "Oh no, I just got this text," and I was like, "Well, I think you better call your mom and find out." And what'd she yeah, say? What, what, uh, how did you ask her? Well, I just told her before I talked to her, like a lawyer. I, I was like, the lawyer wants to know, is my dad's name on the birth certificate? What do you want me to say? Birth. Whatever. <laughs> and she goes, uh, just tell the lawyer he's your stepdad and we'll talk about this later. Oh, oh my God. Oh, and did crushing. you talk about it later? No, not yet. I'm still... <laughs> when, when, was it, when did this happen? Uh, last week. You're not a very good follow-up guy. <laughs> you ever had that conversation? That's a big follow-up. I, I just... Don't really want to have that conversation yet. That's crushing. Well, it's just... It seems well, like you, everyone's had it with you except for her, so at this point, like... And you look at this guy like he's your dad. Yeah. Incorrectly. So to, he is your father and to yeah, you, that, right? It's not going to change. Mm. Right, you're not going to change that. No. That's not... No, it's, it's, it, it's changed. It's different. It's not... But you don't know it's your real dad. A lot of adopted people say they don't care about their real parents. It's the, it's the one who raised them, so right. that's your father. Do you yeah. like him? Yeah. Okay. So the uh, the other guy, do you want to meet the other guy? I, I'm curious. Maybe now, he's in jail. You don't know. He's yeah, met him. It, it, it could be my half brother's father. So I've met him before. And but, did he know you were his kid? Uh, I I don't know. I got That's that's your brother, yeah. Tracy Morgan. Oh, <laughs> what? Wait, let me see which one you're showing oh. him. That's your brother, right? Yeah. So you don't know. It could be some guy, though. You don't know. It could be. Could I, be Jim. Yeah, I just. You, we, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> could be anybody. How old are you? Twenty-five. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. Your mom ever live by 43rd Street? <laughs> <laughs> she ever stand by the Hess station? <laughs> so uh, the bro- you've met the, the brother's father. Yeah. And you think, that you think he knew that you, his son or he didn't know either? Um, well, when I was younger, he would visit uh, my home every now and then. And every, every time that he would come and visit, uh, my wow. mom would say, my mom would say, hey, so uh, this, my ex is coming through. If he says he's your dad, he's just joking around. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Oh my God. This, and all these years you didn't know it was a fucking that well, he was your dad. Oh, I was like five. I was just going, oh, okay, well, that's weird. My, my yeah, but <laughs> now you're not five, and you still had the same mentality of, oh, I guess that was weird back then. It's just, yeah, it's just something I forgot. And yeah. now hearing this, it's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you now remember that she was trying to already. Why would she lie to you? Are you mad at her? I'm not mad because I apparently you just don't have a conversation about who she was having sex with. Yeah, I'll have it this week. Uh, yeah, I, I guess when I go see her, but uh, how could you not be mad? I don't know, because apparently the guy who I thought was my dad knew 
that I wasn't his son, so he still. Oh. It's not like. Did he hit you a lot? <laughs> no. Okay. Did he touch you? So it's not like he <laughs> was lied to. Derek said that weird, right? Yeah. He got Did a little he touch, sexy. Did he touch you? <laughs> Hang on, let me let me roll. He has an, uncle, he has like, an uncle Paul voice in a way. Did he touch you? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Better Man. words back down there. <laughs> Hot dog. Paul. That is crushing. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone was in on it, but you. Apparently, yeah. Wow. Surprise. It's like the village. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like they all know. Yeah. Except H. Dizzle. I just know it's going to be a really, really awkward conversation. That's why I've been... we 25. It'll be all right. Hey, look, I, you know, we, we fell out of love, and uh, I met this guy, and so I wanted him to raise you as his son. There you go. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. You want to hear Derek? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to hear Derek. So he's in a coma for how long? It's been almost a year now. Oh my god! Okay, that's a long it's ten time. months. Now. Yeah, but it's Shit. good news to find out that's not your dad. That'd suck if it was your dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't but think you... it works that way. Oh really? No. You see him as your dad. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, no, because I thought. And he's not moving. Relief. Why are they yeah. keeping oh, him alive? Uh, like, will he ever recover, or is it possible he can recover? Doctors say realistically, they don't think he will. But my family's very religious. Oh fuck! It sucks. So Scientologists. They, yeah, they're holding out for a miracle. But it's not like he's not locked in where he can hear things in the room. He's legitimately in a coma. But, but you might be able to hear shit in the room. No, he, he, he could. He could hear. He oh, could hear. Yeah, but like, um, so he can't move. No, he, the only thing he could move is his neck, kind of a, a little bit. He can't talk. Uh, no, no, no. So he's that. locked in. Yeah, but like... That's it, fucking that's terrible. Torturous. Yeah. He's but being tortured. If he hears any type of noise, he reacts to it a little bit, so we know he can hear. Oh, my yeah. God. Do you go see him? Yeah. But what if he has an itch? Like, that drives me crazy, I think, of that. Like, yeah. yeah. I hate that. Because after a year, they know you're not going to... Like, after a certain amount of time, they can kind of tell, like, after a couple months. Yeah. But yeah. religious, they won't let him... Can he breathe on his own? He could breathe, but he needs help. What do you mean? Not on his like own. He's a cannery no, he could be on his own, but he'd be struggling a little bit. So we just have a little tube. Sh- yeah, to help him out. That's fuck. That's Poor terrible, guy, man. Yeah. Fuck. That's terrible. Yeah. And he'll never improve because after a year, I don't think you ever improve. Like, yeah, I, I mean, a I year or two, maybe. That's, that's torture. Yeah, well, we, we had to talk about maybe. You should let him go, man. Yeah, we, well, we've had to talk, but. You should ask your dad what he thinks. My actual dad? The new one, yeah. Yeah, you got one dad. In I don't this think life. he has any input. Who's the more religious one? <laughs> of uh, now, who's the religious person saying no? He can't. Well, my mother. Interesting. Yeah. Stop it! You've run out of time. All good things must come to an end, and you've got a minute left in the show. Hit the showers. We're done for the day. Who's that? Who's that? My cannon. It's my cannon. Oh, really? Um, yeah. He really disguised his voice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Hot Dog, you're here tomorrow, right? Yeah. All right, so maybe Wow, we'll... that's tragic, man. Yeah, that sucks. Hot Dog's going to have to show Jim a picture of his cousin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that's a whole great. other... Th- that's a whole... Oh, other. It's, just, it's a teaser. Hot Dog's <laughs> cousin is a prostitute in the Dominican Republic. And she's really hot. And... Mm. I, th- I think Hot Dog slept with her, but that's just a theory. Did you fuck her? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's been to the Dominican Republic for prostitutes before. Have you really? I, n- I didn't go there for Do you speak Spanish? Yeah. Oh, okay. Boquito? Well, broken, but yeah, mm. you can you can communicate if you have to. Mm-hmm. Mama me la pinga. <laughs> <laughs> who we have tomorrow? We uh, uh, oh, we have Brooke Shields. Yeah, Brooke Shields coming in tomorrow. And who else? It's gonna be funny. I think that's it. it. Okay, cool. That was a fun little break. We tinkled, we talked, we laughed, listened to some music. It wasn't a fun little break. It was. I don't need you. You eating a peanut butter covered uh, bagel? Yeah, I eat one every ah, day. It looks so good, man. Every day. Yeah, peanut butter bagel and a Snapple. That looks great. I don't like Snapple. It's the fucking bed. It's made from the best stuff on earth, dude. Well, not according to you. I wouldn't want that. What do you mean? It's called cum. <laughs> <laughs> <Ba-dum-bum>. <laughs> so listen, um, we haven't gotten an update from Hot Dog, who's been here. But yeah, his, uh, last thing we found out, his dad was in a coma. Well, allegedly, not his dad. <laughs> Here's the thing, Hot Dog. Hot Dog's been around for a while. He uh, he interned for the morning for the old morning show, and then uh, he was working with me at nights for a while, and then now he's working here part time. He just kind of floats around, but he's he's employed by SiriusXM finally. Uh, but he's always got complications going on in his life. It's very very strange. And then he just smiles oddly, really weirdly. Like when you ask him, he just kind of smiles, and you don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, he says like these terribly serious things. 
But he just kind of has this goofy grin on his face like everything's fine. And it's... Doesn't sound fine at all. Like it's the type of stuff that would shatter people's lives. Yeah. And he's just like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And if that like, guy what? ever says he's your dad, he's not. Yeah. What? So for what's it been? Eighteen months or something? Why doesn't he come in? I don't know. Where is he? It's fucking weird. He's answering the phones. Oh, that's probably more important. He's answering phones about himself. <laughs> <laughs> so for for however many months, he was telling us that his dad was in a coma from an accident on a construction site, which is like tragic. And, you know, and, and now they don't know if they'll ever get out of the coma and the whole thing. Who do you think I'm talking about if we're talking about a coma? Hot Hold dog? on a second. Let me put the mic on. Or is it already on? My dad? Go. Well. The guy I thought was my dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, hot dog comes in. So, it's like 18 months. He thinks his dad's in a coma. And then he comes in, like, last week. And he goes, hey, so, uh, I don't actually know if that's my dad. And I was like, What? Didn't he yeah. raise you? He did. But you don't know. Well, he, as of now, he's not my dad. How did you find out for sure? Uh, well, I still haven't had the conversation with my mom that I told you I was going to have. I, I see her like maybe once a week at this point. Well, let's revisit. So you're sitting there and you're overhearing a conversation. Is that how it starts? Yeah. My and brother and my aunt are talking. They think I'm like away from the house. How old's your room. brother? He's 30. How old are you? 25. So your brother's five years older talking yeah, about you like you're... which is enough to know. But he's but, talking about you like you're 12. But he's talking about you like you're a kid in the next room who's like, we're going to put the presents under the tree as soon as he goes to bed. Yeah. <laughs> if you're 25, that's a man. Yeah. yeah you is. know, you got, you got hair on that little chinny of yours. I see it. I see bit. it. Yeah. So, yeah. so, but this is like, this guy raised you. Mm-hmm. This, uh, you visit him how many times? Uh, now with the part-time, I visit him like maybe three times a week. But before that? Pretty much every night. Every night. So what do you do when you go there? I Nothing much, uh, just to show some support. And do you just, talk to him? Yeah, but, you know, you, you can't really expect anything out of him or any reaction, so. Well, no, but do you, what do you say? No, just like, hey, Dad, you know, kind of show him some pictures, like put a camera on his face and just like kind of. Show him what, okay. Yeah. Do they think he can see? Uh, Yeah, I think. Does his eyes some, follow stuff? His eyes, yeah, it does follow a wow. little bit, so. I show him pictures and stuff like that. That's that thing. Can that, he blink out answers? No. Well, he probably could if you asked him to, no? I mean, we tried that. It's oh. just, yeah. I mean, he does have control of that. That's okay. that thing that you talk about that's just locked terrifying. In. Locked in. Yeah, about locked being locked in. in. It's terrible. Yeah. Just, it's, it's, it's the worst I've told my thing. manager my will. If, if I ever get that way, I would, I would want the plug pulled immediately. Yeah. It's torture. I'd be yeah. the same way. Yeah, yeah, it's really scary. Yeah. So, and and that, that uh, if you don't have that in your will, that decision comes down to... Family, family. yeah. It's so really... Have, so at that point, you have to figure out you know, who your family is, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And that's where it gets complicated? Yes. Yes, that's right. Because you don't have any technical legal say because he's not your father. Yeah. Well, so, have... so how many, how long has he been in a coma? Uh, it's almost a year. It's 10 months, going okay. on 11. So it's about 11 months, and you overhear this conversation. Yeah. And what are they, what does your mom and brother say? No, my aunt and my brother. Because mm-hmm. uh, we're talking about meeting up with a lawyer, mm-hmm. because it's about time that we start getting that ready. And my they're talking about how my mother doesn't want me involved with any of the legal procedures because she's afraid that I'm going to find out that that's not my dad. So my brother's just like talking to my aunt going, well, you know, he should know by now. Of course now. you should. Are you, are you mad at your mother? You're 25 years old. No, not really. It's weird. Yeah, What's I'm not weird? really She should have told you. Yeah. Well, it's weird because he's a sociopath with no emotions. Yeah, how is, <laughs> it, how is it weird? Like She should have told you. You're an adult. Yeah. And it's weird that I'm not really upset. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I understand that. Yeah. So 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 he goes like, yeah, a hot dog should really know. Yeah. And so what do you what do you what are you thinking in the other? What do you, first of all, what are you doing in the other room? I'm pretending to be asleep. I'm like, holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way a 25 year old should hear information. <laughs> He's yeah. just scrunching his eyes under the covers, like, oh, oh, I just pretend I'm asleep. Yeah. I just pretend I'm asleep. I I, mean, I teared up a little bit afterwards, so I, I did show some emotion. You did? Do you yeah. not show you emotion upset? much? No. You're not an emotional guy? No emotion from a king, right, Hot Dog? Yeah. Uh, I used to. I don't know. I just stopped. When? A couple years ago. I don't know. Why? I, I don't know. I just stopped. It's very weird. It's, I'm awkward now with people. I'm more awkward now, I feel like, than I used to be. Just yeah, I mean, you're definitely very awkward. Yeah. So, I believe that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so then... But that's the first you've ever heard of this. So yeah. you're pretending you're sleeping. Has there been any yeah. rumblings before now? Yeah. And I just 
kind like, of what are the rumblings? Successful. Well, it sounds stupid now, but uh, since my father's side of the family and my mother's side of the family don't get along well, uh, I would hear every now and then from like the Dominican Republic, mm-hmm. his side of the family is going, well, that's not really his son anyway. No, no, no. And I would just take, <laughs> and, and I, I would like, just take it like, oh, they're just being like caters or something. I don't know. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, in the in the DR, they got an excess of haterade. That is my father. And someone is saying that that night your dad is like a big thing that they do there when they're pissed off at you. Well, I'm guessing they. I was, was just assuming they were saying that because they want the rights to all his stuff. So I thought they were just making up lies or whatever. So his family knew you weren't the son. Yeah, or they either knew that or were haters. We haven't, haters. we haven't exactly figured out. Well, it turned out that they were right, so they had to have known it because they were right. Is, yeah, is it possible that maybe they were right, but also they were kind of haters? Both. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Maybe is that when you had on. sex with your cousin? And I did not have sex with my cousin. <laughs> What'd she do? I went and with my friends, and we ended up getting some prostitutes, but. <laughs> I didn't go there for prostitutes. No, I understand. Yeah. And your cousin was with you or your friend? No, no, no. My cousin was What did your cousin do for a living? She's a prostitute. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but it had nothing to do with the prostitutes that we had. That was just completely... Oh, okay. It's a different... That's where... So you went for... Unaffiliated. She hot? My cousin? Yeah. Yeah, we looked up photos of her. Yeah, she's hot. You did? Yeah. Do you know her? Uh, a little bit. Anytime I visit, but I I go to DR like every three or four years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you want to see her when you were there? I mean, she's cool. Hey, I'm your cousin. Yeah. Right. Like, what are you? What's the job? Like? Yeah, have like, a few gringo dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, your fake dad, the guy you thought was your dad, is yeah. Dominican. Yeah. Is he an uncle? What's the relationship? Is there no My, blood? Uh, or just a stepdad? Just a stepdad. So, hmm. yeah. So he's Dominican. Yeah. Is your actual dad Dominican? I'm. I would guess. You don't know for sure because you don't know who he is. Uh, I, well, I thought you did know who he was. The uncle who's the dad to the other brothers. I mean, that's just an assumption. <laughs> We're just guessing. Yeah. Have you I, asked him? You really need no. to step up and take control of the situation. I do. Yeah. You, you did a terrible <laughs> job. Get some fucking testing done. Yeah. You got to sit down and have a harsh talk with your mother. I know. I'm I, sorry. Yeah. She's lied to you. It's not right. And you got for medical reasons, you have the right to know because what if there's cancer in the family? You have to know that stuff. Yeah. Well, plus it's like, it's like good for people to know who their dad is. Yeah. yeah, people just like to know that stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just like helpful trivia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you have the right to know. It. So what did? Uh, but your mom, you talked to your mom a little bit about this. Um, a little tiny bit. Like it's it's more of a like we'll talk about this in depth later or kind of stuff. Well, like, why don't you just say to her, "I want to know the answer." I tell me. Yeah, I know. I, I've do you been... not have that relationship with her? Yeah, like. We've... I'm close with her, but it's just like I, I never really had like a deep conversation about anything with her. Don't you live with her? Yeah. <laughs> and you see her once a week? But yeah, nowadays I see her like once a week. And you haven't talked about this issue of this guy not being your dad in a coma? No. When did you find out? It should be like two weeks ago now. It's crazy. Okay. I would yeah. have had that discussion within 20 minutes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Is the reason that you don't only see her once a week because you avoid being at your home all the time now? No, she's never at home. She's always at the hospital. So, like, if I go, and if I go visit her, it's because I'm relieving her so she can go home and rest. Why don't you go to the hospital with her? Uh, it's just, she's always there constantly, so. What I she go, do? I just sit there and be supportive? And yeah, yeah. Plus, she's devastated right now? Yeah. So, you know, she doesn't, she does more work than the nurses there. She, she's yeah. really hands-on and all that stuff. And she won't pull the plug. Yeah. Very religious. Yeah, she's not, she's, you can't even bring that up. God damn. What does she say if you bring it up? She'll start thinking that you're like after his money or something like that. She'll get real paranoid. Oh, are they technically they are married? No, no. Oh, they never got married. Oh. Yeah, oh, but so I think there's no something. Say. I think there's something in New York where like it's like common law. Uh, yeah. So, well, did he have a prior wife? Did he never divorce? No. Okay. Does he have other children that might have say? Yeah. No. He has kids. My no. My dad no. He has zero kids. My. Uh, Isn't that interesting that your dad has no children? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, especially for like. A Dominican, that's usually they no, have like No, I just mean that. No, he means that he's dad. <laughs> like your dad having zero children. Oh, yeah. Well, like you yeah. see where mathematically that starts to yeah. get weird. Yeah. Like that. that is, when you say my dad has no kids, <laughs> it, it like immediately <laughs> leads to like, well, what, like there's lots of questions. That yeah. Come yeah. Like that's an interesting tidbit. It yeah. is. So what was the conversation you had with your mom? Uh, again, it was just like I, the last time I went was, uh, I think Sunday mm-hmm. and I went to relieve her cause she, she was going to go to, 
she was going to church, so I kind of just saw her. She was like, well, did you talk to the lawyer? I was like, yeah, they were just asking about the whole like, birth certificate stuff. I was like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll chat about that when we have the chance. And then she just went on. When she we said, Mom, we have a chance now. Just give me a quick rundown of what's going on. Yeah. I know. I really need to get to it. You're a grown up. You yeah. gotta, I, I, it's not, you're not being a dick or unreasonable yeah. to go, you've told me this guy's my father, and now he's laying here in a coma after a year. I have, you know, come on. Yeah. I got to move it up on my to do list. Yeah. There's no, you don't have to keep blowing it off. Because what if you, God forbid, something happens to your mom and you never get the answer? It's, right. That's true. You, you, you never know. Yeah. Is that what Jesus would like? Your mom's very religious. I mean, yeah. She, Christ wanted to lie. Jesus knew who his dad was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 Um, I, it, again, it comes back to the whole, I've never really had a relationship with her like that. So I, I know I have I to know. do it. But yeah, this is different. You got to just yeah. step up and then do it. It's your yeah. life. You're a fucking big boy. You yeah. got to just, you I know. mean, I, <laughs> you don't have to be mean about it. You can yeah. say, look, I know why you lied. It's fine. Plus, I don't know how much context, like, I don't know how you could or couldn't have that type of, like, you have the type of relationship with your mom where she would spend your life to you lying to you about who your dad is. Like, that's the... Like yeah, relation, it sounds like her. And you're so. <laughs> hold on, we have a question for Hot Dog from Shane in Indiana. All right, Shane, question, Hot Dog, comment. Morning, boys. Hello. Hot Dog, what sucks worse, the fact that you found out your dad is your dad, or that there's a man out there that wants nothing to do with you? Okay, that's mm, uh, you, yeah. that, that tough, <laughs> that's way, mean. The sir. way that's worded is a little tough. Thank it's you, a, Shane. That's hurtful. That's not what he said. He said questions for hot dog. We we would right. want nice questions. It's a decent uh, question, though. Yeah, it's fair. Fair, but it, it's just the way it was worded was a little tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ba- think the first basic, one. Yeah, the first part is a little harder. I really don't care about whoever the other person is. You don't. Yeah, but you want to find out. I mean, I'm a little curious, but <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. You're just like uh, you're kind of just itching to know, right? Mm, yeah, I get that. Yeah. I get that. Your mom probably would know. Sure. I hope. You I hope. Look, yeah. I hope she would know. Sure you know what? You wonder, does she not know if it's maybe one of two people? You never know. Your mom may have taken a couple of fucking romps behind the uh, <laughs> yeah, behind yeah. the church bake sale in the fucking car. No, oh, yeah. And, and maybe she doesn't know exactly. Yeah. How come your mom never married this dude? Because uh, legal. So that might, they came here illegally. They got their papers now. Oh, okay. I see. But it's I a see. whole hell of a They just didn't get, she doesn't get around to things. Nope. She, uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's it. So maybe she's years afraid. doesn't know a word of English. Is she afraid? Does she, she know any English? Nope. Does he have a lot of money, your dad? Uh, he has a lot of property, uh, property in DR. So I is say your mom worried that if he dies, she won't have anything? Uh, she's worried about her, like his family taking everything that he's worked for, basically. So what I'm saying is, but she wouldn't get any of it either. Is she worried about herself a little bit there? Yeah, I don't think she's really thinking about herself okay. too much. Yeah. She's worried about them taking it from him. Yeah. Okay. Which And they already started divvying up the land over there. They without, did. Yeah. Well, I mean, look. Nothing we can do about it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's yeah. over there. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing going to be done. And he's probably, would the doctor say this is as much as he's going to recover? Because they usually know after six months, I think, yeah. how far you're going to progress. Yeah. We've had three or four meetings, and all of them say, we've gone to like three different hospitals, and they all say the same thing. What? That they don't think he's going to get any better. Would they let you visit him, or is it just family allowed? No, they let people visit. Yeah, no, <laughs> very harsh. It's very harsh. <laughs> yeah, the context. Yeah, I, yeah, I did your father? Context, did he yeah. ever wake up and like indicate who's he? <laughs> get this kid out of my room. <laughs> this isn't friends and family time. Yeah. This is just yeah. yeah get, get this fucking bedpan bringer. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, the, all the doctors all say that, and does that message sinking into her? No. Uh, uh, just the other day, she was talking about uh, moving into an apartment that's good for him. Like, uh, so he could just be there. So she could. They could be like a twenty-four hour nurse there and help him out. I'm like, that's not happening. Uh, e- unless, even if he gets a little bit better, it, you can't take him from like a fucking clinic to an apartment and think. Who's that's paying gonna... for this, or does insurance cover it? She's, she's like, oh, insur- we're going to find a way for insurance to cover it and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm like, no. She's not she's, realistic. Sometimes she's not realistic at this, all. This starts to make sense because I feel like hot dog as a person, and it must be like family taught. Hot dog tends to take the path of most resistance. Like, whatever is the most complicated scenario is usually the direction that Hot Dog will go down. Right. Like, this is, this is like an easy... The whole idea that this process is taking so long, like this is an easy thing to be like, listen, Mom, you're going to have to level with me at some point. Yeah. yeah. Did, she, did she tell you... I hope you? she's not your mom. <laughs> oh, that make me funny happy. Would that be? Oh, it's just some other... We just found you. You're yeah. Just some baby. Exactly. Some lady just left you. She's the joke. 
about that when I was a kid. Oh, wait, <laughs> what was the joke? Wait a minute, what was the joke? I was like, oh, you know, we just, some Asian lady just gave us, uh, gave you to us. So. You do have a Tiger Woods vibe. Dude, yeah. What was the, what, what was the other joke that they used to make about your dad and whether he was your dad or not? Oh, if you're, if, uh, my ex comes here and he says he's your dad, he's, he's just joking. Cool. <laughs> so do you understand there is a pattern here? Yeah, there's a, po- there's a possibility she's not your mom. Uh, no, we look a lot. We we look very similar, so it's. I think that's pretty much out the question. Yeah, but like okay. a lot of times when people have a dog, they start to look like their own. <laughs> that's right. Look what Liberace did with fucking uh, Scott Thorson. Exactly. A little surgery, and actually had a little him running around. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Did you ever go in for surgery when you were young? No. Like for sinus or anything? Because while they have them knocked out, they're like bring the cheekbones up a little bit too. <laughs> you know. By the way, we have we have an amazing moment about to happen. No. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, I want to keep my name. Uh, I don't want to give out my name. I want to say to my uh, son, I apologize, <laughs> I thought that I wasn't involved in your life. Uh, I, met, I met your mother many years ago because I'm a truck driver. We met in a truck stop. Uh, we went in my truck. We did it. And uh, I kind of I kind of like women with six-inch pussy lips. And, she didn't, you know, <laughs> and then she was giving me the Bible and everything. I could take it no more. But... You know, I, I, wow. I apologize that I wasn't involved in your life, though, you know? That's really sweet. I forgive you. It's fine. Do you want to meet up sometime or kind of... Uh, not really. Uh, <laughs> I mean, listen, uh, you're working in a radio show. You're not like Jim or Sam. And, you know, if you make that kind of money, then maybe I'll get to say hello to you, you okay. know, and you can help me out. That sounds good. Right, yeah, thank thanks, you very Dad. much. Wow. Like a really moving moment. Thanks for calling. <laughs> So you think that your dad might be the same guy that is the dad to your brothers? Maybe. Logically, possible. that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Unless your mom is not your mom, which is possible. That, I don't think that's a possible. That would be fucking insane. Yeah, but you also really thought that your dad was your dad up until a couple of weeks ago. Like yeah. You really, if I was like, is that really your dad? You'd be like, of course, Sam. That's yeah, really they're just stupid. joking. Why, yeah. wouldn't, why wouldn't he be my dad? <laughs> their, when they say, if, if my ex comes and says that he's your father... He's kidding. Why would the woman who raised me have told me a lie all these years? <laughs> Makes no sense. And even painted a backstory in case the truth came out. <laughs> she literally told you a backstory in case the truth was told to you to not believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like if your real father ever wants to connect, he's joking. He's joking. Right. <laughs> That's like when you're when you're when you're dating somebody and your ex is coming and you're like, Hey, if she says that we dated for like more than a month, she she takes it a little more seriously than I do. Don't listen to her. We weren't <laughs> there was no connection there. Uh Jason Detroit, a very viable question. Hello, Jace, welcome. Thank you, sir. Um I'm a stepfather myself and I, I kind of and I've known my son uh for nineteen years, longer mm-hmm. than he's not known me. And I kind of take it a little bit offensive that you're not calling him your real father. He did raise you as your no, as yeah, no. I can. He's my dad. Yeah, but yeah, but he means biological. You were, yeah. you were okay. a, wait, wait, wait. You were a stepfather to somebody for 19 years, correct? I still am a step. Yeah, but you right. knew it. Father. You but, knew it. But were you ever like, hey, buddy, that's my jizz that made you. I am your dad. No doubts about it. Me and you are blood related. I am your natural father. No, because he was eight years old when I met him, so that would have been... Yeah, that's the difference between you and um, young H- HD, is that he's been told a lie yeah, all these years. Yeah, do you see where things might get a little more confused when you find out that, like, yeah. you can't, just because a guy, like, raised you, if you were fibbed to about the fact that he was your natural father... Yes, and then another lie was built in behind that, yes. in case the real truth came out. Yeah, then there's a lot more. You don't just say, "Well, I just found out my dad was lying to me. He didn't actually produce me with his with his seed, yeah. but he did raise me. So I guess I'll just move on." You do know that Hato's gonna have that moment where he's brushing his teeth or he's combing his hair in the mirror. He's just gonna go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> have you had that moment? I don't think it's really hit me yet, no. like like that. Um, yeah, but yeah, I still consider him my dad. Yeah, yeah. no, that's understandable. I'm not taking that away. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he knew just because his family knew. How would he? Not everyone knew. What the yeah, f- how everyone. Would he not, but you, yeah, yeah you're so, the only one who didn't know. Yeah. So the fact Sam that he, and I got an email six years ago. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you ever get an intern, kind of weird looking, awkward kid. <laughs> yeah. Just pretend that this guy's his dad. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that he's still decided to raise me as his son, all so that, what that, that, that means more if anything. You understand your mom's not going to bring it up to you ever. Never. She's never going to broach the topic with you. Mm, probably not. Didn't she say, though, when you got when you brought up a lawyer, didn't she say, just write that you're his stepson? Mm-hmm. And we'll talk about this later. 
<laughs> cool. And then, did she ever talk about it later? No. So she basically put it on you and said, this is, this is now you, right that you're a stepson, we'll talk about it, and then didn't think enough to follow through with you and explain to you. So she doesn't care if you know. You know what's the yeah. one reason that you would have a boy write in a legal document that he is the stepson of somebody? Why? Because he's a stepson. Because yeah. that's not his natural birth father. <laughs> yeah, my mother would never say, write in that your dad is your stepdad, because he's my dad. And who gets yeah. told that and says, we'll talk about it later, and doesn't say, whoa. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, Mom, I'll talk to you later. And, or who doesn't bring it up and go, remember that thing I told you to do that is earth is foundation shaking? <laughs> yeah. Like, wait a second. Let's just pretend it never happened. Hey, Are yeah. you not angry at your mother at all? I would be very angry at my mother. I feel as I, I should be, yeah, but I, yeah. Do you I'm like not... her a lot as a person, though? Have you had, like, this amazing relationship with her? Can not, you talk not, to her? not amazing. No. No, like, I love her, but. But what? It's not like. We've never, like, again, we never had a deep conversation. We argue a lot about shit. It's just... Like who your dad is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little language barrier because even though I do know Spanish, I prefer not to speak it. So when we're at home, we barely talk. It's, wow, it's, it's yeah. a weird relationship. It's a weird relationship, yeah. yeah that, would explain why you, uh, that would explain why you kill women. Um, <laughs> you, should, you should at some point, you know, go up to her and say, Hey, Mom, you, uh, you, just, you told me something that is making me question every fiber of who I am as a person. Yeah. So I just thought maybe we could get a little clarification. Do you think maybe there's a little, and again, not to, I'm not going to speak ill of your mom, but do you think yeah. there's maybe a bit of selfishness in the fact that she is not letting your dad go and he's never going to get better? Yeah. And he's in a tortured situation and she's not talking to you about what is critical information for you. Yeah. Despite it having come out and not worrying about how you're handling it. Yeah. Now she likes to keep a lot of people you know, out in the dark. And the whole reason we're having a like a an issue with his dad, his side of the family, is because they advocated like letting him go. Of course. And all of a sudden she just goes, "Oh, you guys are just like, you guys want the lawsuit. You guys want this and that." And, and she, and yeah. And then it's like if there's a little hope that he's gonna get better, and you know, she, you know, I believe in God and Jesus and all that. And I think he's gonna get better. And then it's just like a. You can't win with her. No, yeah. it sounds very, very, very selfish. She think dinosaurs are real? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk Probably. to, uh, this is a fair question, and this a lot of people want to know this. Don't forget, a lot of people might not know. Tony in Baltimore, talk at me. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of the show. I've been listening from the beginning, but I never, I never followed Opie and Anthony. I was always a stern guy. Boo! So, uh, don't call the... No. <laughs> okay, <I'm> sir. <laughs> but I, I, can you explain who everybody is? Like, I, I know all the, I know all the names, but like, what does everybody do on the show? Like, who, who are the characters? Well, um, Adrian is, uh, you, you know, Adrian. He's the guy. He's kind of our archive of uh, any information. How far better it is. I hit the wrong Jesus button. Christ. God damn it. This we don't even know what Jim it, does. It's always been advocated for you to have no buttons. Uh, why? First of all, don't enunciate HT and buttons. Buttons! Hot Dog was on the, uh, we were an intern on Opie and Anthony, mm -hmm. and then he started doing a lot more on Sam's show. So when Sam and I started doing the mornings, we have Adrian and, um, and of course, Troy, who was with Opie and Anthony, and then with Sam. So Adrian is our uh, in-studio producer. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and Grob and, and and he's the uh, resident worm. Yes, hot dog is. Uh, he's just one of the more interesting people. He just always has problems going on with him. Yeah, and he he, he runs the board here at Sirius on another show, and yeah. he's kind of fighting his way to get in the radio. Troy Kwan is our production guy. He's been here for years. The Travis dog is in the uh, Taft box. Yeah, he sure is. He's the uh, he's I guess he's the uh, senior most producer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, uh, resident cum dump. That's what he wants to be <laughs> yeah. called. He, he slept his way to the top. They just won't give me a title bump to that. Though. <laughs> yeah, RDC. I don't raise. <laughs> and, uh, sick baby, also known as D bag, also known as Dizzle Bizzle is our social media, uh, and content producer. And I think it, I, it, I think it sucks because it's, it's obvious your show is carrying a channel. It's the best show on there. Thanks. But like most, most people, I don't think I'm the only one. Like in the past, we would listen to Stern and then we would click over and listen to the replay. But now the, 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 they don't play the replay right away. We got to wait for fucking Trad Dog to put it up. <laughs> oh, on the uh, thing, yeah, that's <laughs> Trad Dog like does right the best he can. I think a faction is screwing you over because I mean you're the you're uh, I mean when once Stern's gone, I mean you guys are going to be it. You're the show to take uh, the next generation to take over, and they're they're fucking you with this replay. I, I don't think that look. Jason's on after us, and we like Jason. I like Jason yeah, but very Jason, much. Jason's 
show is just, it, it starts off a little funny, but it, it always, every show turns into a self-help show. Well, look, any taste that you have, and his fans may feel the same about us, that there's parts they like that. I don't feel like we're being fucked over. I'm annoyed at the replay. We should get the replay after Opie's show is over, just because it should be um, us, Jason Opie, us, Jason Opie, but whatever. That will, eventually there's going to be another show in there. But aside from that, I don't feel like we're being Bobo fucked show. over. Yeah, Bobo show is coming, and I don't feel like we're being fucked over. Like, they're not trying to fuck us. I mean, they gave us raises, yeah. and they put us in a good spot. Like, wait, 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 wait. They gave us yeah. what? Ooh. Raises. What? Oh, yeah. Us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to work on your pronouns, kid. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, know. Yeah, but okay, uh, I, I understand. But, but I, mean, I, I don't I feel like saying. we're being fucked over. I, I don't feel like we're being fucked over. I don't think they're trying to. And I'm not towing the company line. They're just not. It, it would, there'd be no reason for them to do it. I just, I think. I, we, all right. I just want to say before I go, I've, okay. you know, I've, been, I've been listening to radio for uh, like over 30 years, you know, with Stern and all that. And it's uh, it's obvious you guys you guys are next to take over once you don't seem think you have much left. But well, I, I hope that you're correct. Yeah, we really appreciate that. Thank you, you buddy. You seem like a very smart guy. Before you go, oh. um, do you know who Hot Dog's dad <laughs> yeah. is? Because you seem to have a lot of answers about other things. And That's a Hot good point. Dog is sitting here like with the look in his face of somebody who has no clue who his parents are. <laughs> <laughs> I know he came over and his mom told him. Uh, if he says he's your dad, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, Tony. You know, and also, and also, one more thing. Sure. You more of a chip, the chip robot when he goes meow, meow. You know that was that guy. Um, I, I've been in touch with that guy, Daniel. He's really funny, and he did the chip robot. And he did another one, and I'm possibly doing something else with that young man. But Love the chip it. robot was just that was a one off because that was the commercial. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Uh, let's talk to uh, one another guy here who wants to know something. Uh, who, who is in a similar situation? Oh. Justin in Ohio may be able to help um, Young Hot Dog. Hello. Okay. Who's your daddy? Who's your dad? <laughs> no clue. Yeah, who is the supplier of the cum that has become you? Aren't you glad this isn't like the late 90s, early 2000s when that was like a thing that people said, who's your daddy? Because <laughs> you'd be like, I don't have any fucking idea. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't answer that question. <laughs> Hello. Where'd Justin go? I don't know. He's oh. really... Maybe he died. Went to go look for his dad. You probably did. You get that, right? <laughs> yeah. El Paso and Alex, yeah, you've been lied to about your father, too? Yeah. Well, did you just say El Paso in Alex? <laughs> no. The whole damn oh, city. Oh, maybe. The whole damn city's in that ass. <laughs> hey, you, you giant asshole. You're on the phone. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was lied to for 39 years. I just found out that my dad, that kept saying that he was my dad, wasn't really my dad. And I found out my birth certificate, every time you look at it, blank. <laughs> so when I lost my social security card, I had to go get it. And they told me, nope, that's not the name. And <laughs> I, I found out who my real dad was. Did you I still haven't reached out to him. Why not? Um, I don't know. It's just that I, I really don't want to know who that person is. And then they kept saying, well, we didn't want to tell you because your mom didn't want to tell you, but the sad thing about it, my mom passed away. So oh, there's man. no way I'm ever going to go ahead and find out. But the good thing, I did um, reach out. Well, they reached out to me on through Facebook, and my half sisters. I met. I met four out of the. I met two out of the four. See, so, hot dog. If you listen to this uh, story, thanks you were for the call, Alex. Gift. Did you expect? Your dad to get Noxillion into a coma? I mean, the, this person to get Noxillion into a coma? No. So, okay. Noxilly is probably not the most sensitive way to... F is that not medical? No, not really. No. Okay, I apologize. He's, I didn't, I didn't he's realize. struck down by fate. <laughs> okay. yeah. Did you expect this person to get his comeuppance? As his <laughs> well, I don't know if he didn't he deserve that? it. No. <laughs> okay, I'm not um, sure. Uh, run into a stroke of bad luck. <laughs> right, right, mm -hmm. right. Did you expect this guy to get what he what he had coming? <laughs> no, no. I, that's sorry. another way. To, that implies that you know, basically he got what was good for him because oh. of this thing oh. that you see next to you. Okay. <laughs> Did you expect this horrible accident to strike down the liar? Not necessarily. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> so, but the question is, hmm. what happens if something equal happened to your mom, like, tomorrow, yeah. right? And then yeah. it's like, you ain't got shit to talk about with anybody, because two people who are either your parents or total strangers, yeah. they're all, they're in fucking la-la land somewhere not being able to talk to you. Well, that would suck. Yeah, uh, you, yeah, you didn't even get the answer. You're this 39-year-old guy who's searching Facebook for half-sisters. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really looking for whoever my biological dad is. Though. But would you want to know? You should find out. Or at least find out like why your mom decided to fib. 
Yeah. Um, like, were you? Did you? Does it now make sense? Like, when you look back and like you'd hear your stepdad and your mom arguing, and he'd say things like, "That my cum couldn't be that stupid." <laughs> <laughs> and, you'd <be> like, <laughs> and you'd wonder what he was talking well, about. Well, the timeline makes sense because I was born. She was pregnant with me while she was coming over to the United Days States. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yeah, we chocolate rain. <laughs> Someone <laughs> came in my mother's box again. Chocolate <laughs> rain. <laughs> <laughs> we really should probably find out who Tezande's dad is, because I'm pretty sure there's some guy making little Tezandes everywhere he goes. Uh, Tezande. Yeah, we got to find out who Tezande's natural uh, father is. Oh no! Chocolate rain. A big beam hit me in the brain. Oh, no. <laughs> but that's what happened. To- oh, yeah, that's what happened to my dad. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Hit me in the brain. I'm sorry, I'm t- um, <laughs> you know I like you. That's, but, why, that's yeah. why he can't. That's why he's lucky. Yeah. The, 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 the timeline. The timeline kind of makes sense <laughs> <laughs> because my mom was uh, pregnant with me while she was coming over to the United States. Mm-hmm. So I, I would guess she <laughs> hooked up with whoever she hooked up in the DR. And well, yeah, she, I mean, she couldn't have done it here. Yeah, and she the, was already pregnant uh, when she got here. Yeah, Fuck so her. I would guess that, and then I would guess that they met in the boat. <laughs> in the boat? They, yeah, they. they oh, oh, you mean you and her Jesus. and Fake Dad mm-hmm. met on the DR boat? Yeah. Oh my god. Over here, and they were like, "Here's the story. Like, yeah. I'm pregnant. I don't like this dude that I'm yeah. leaving behind. Yeah, starting a new life over here. Right. So you can be yeah. his dad. Hurry up, come. That's a Coast Guard horn." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing that's probably how it went. <laughs> they met in the boat? Yeah. That's a, that's oh, a no. fucking hard sell on somebody. <laughs> oh, no. Unless it's like, you know, immigration is kind of tough. Yeah. And if we have this kid together, that would be good for us. You know, that would be good for you. Maybe your dad was just your dad because of immigration. Yeah. I don't know, because my dad tried to stay under the radar for a couple of years. Yeah, uh, sure. yeah, probably wasn't until... Well, not, not your... I mean... Well, yeah. yeah. For yeah. purposes, he's... We we'll just call him... You know, Mr. X. Mr. Yeah. X? <laughs> yeah, because we don't know who he, we don't yeah. know, he's not related to you. Yeah. yeah, so that's probably how it went down. I'm, that's just what's going on in my head, um, that I would have to get those answers. And well, Fair it, enough, Tay. You should, t- <laughs> <laughs> you should talk to your mom, like, really soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, should, I, you should talk to her. When do you think you're going to talk to her? I'll be there tomorrow, so. You'll be where? At the hospital. You live with the her. nursing yeah, but she doesn't stay. She's been at the hospital. Yeah. Oh, she should, like stays, stays at she the stays, hospital. Stays at the like hospital. she sleeps there. Yeah. Oh Takes wow. Takes a shower there. All that yeah. stuff. Jeez. Yeah. Um. So are you. So that means. Oh, so you'd have to talk to her at the hospital. Yeah. So if mom's not home, are you bringing some stank back to the apartment? Uh, I try. And do we succeed? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to bring some puss home. Oh yeah, he is, but not succeeding. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. I try that's, that's awful. You yeah. try to though. I I try. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work out. No. She tried to bring that uh, that chick that you work in the mornings with home. Who's you know that? Man? I'm not gonna say her name, but you should try to bring oh, her oh home. Oh God. <laughs> you you know her if you saw her, Jim. No. She you gonna hot? try? Yeah, I think so. You gonna try that? Uh, Might as well, right? No. You got the pad to yourself. Uh, yeah, I got other stuff to worry about. So. Like what? Trying to figure out who my dad is. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think you can cram your meat in her? <laughs> mm, no comment. I don't know. <laughs> so Did you? No, I don't have too much confidence. <laughs> <laughs> so until until oh. you figure out who your dad is, you're gonna put the coos on the side. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that I'm putting on the side. I've tried. It's just it's not working out. No. Well, you know what? What one way to maybe at least get like uh, the the ground under your feet again? Hmm? You could ask your mom why she lied to you for 25 years. Yeah. Okay. That's something, right? Yeah. Fair question. Good start. Kevin has a criticism. He doesn't believe you. Okay. Kevin? Hey, Jamie. What's up, buddy? Uh, well, I'm having a hard time believing this, because this sounds exactly like the story that Craig Gass told on the Hopi show last night. Well, what? this has been going on longer yeah. than this. Yeah, I mean, about... we, uh, Hot Dog was talking about this story a week ago. This yeah. has been happening for a while. Maybe Craig Gass heard a Hot Dog story and found mm-hmm. it so compelling that he was like, i got to make that my history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's only one big difference, though. What's what? that? And that's that Craig's mom was uh, deaf. 
And apparently, uh, Hot Dog's mom is blind because she's too blind to see how stupid her son is. Oh, that's cool. That's not nice, that's is not it? Nice that's just being spirited, sir. That's yeah, not that you just, nice, you just, right? you're, just, you're just kicking a bastard while he's down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks, you know, what a, you know what a bastard is, right? Bye. Yes. And are you a bastard? Yes. <laughs> Good to know. Good. We clarified that. I feel, I feel bad for him, and I, I feel like well, your, uh, your I mean, mom should tell you. What if yeah. your parents could be, you don't know what, you, any, you don't know what your mom's got going on. She could be married to some other dude. Yeah. And she could have just moved Book here. friend. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't strike me as the type to worry about, like, paperwork. You know what I mean? No, yeah. So she might have just gotten married a in the of, DR. A lot of mysteries. Tell me if this is, this is so far out of the realm of possibility. Your mom got married in the DR. Dominican Republic. That's right. Mm-hmm. Then she wanted a new life. Mm-hmm. So she just got on. I mean, you know, let's be honest. You know, in the DR, there's a certain sexual appetite that a lot of the men have. Maybe she was getting cheated on a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a real not. hunger for strange. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. People love that strange. Yeah, she was. And OK, so yeah. that's happening. And mm-hmm. instead of going through like divorce proceedings and everything, she just gets on a fucking boat. Yeah. All knocked up. Yeah. Meet some sucker. Yeah, <laughs> and, right. and they go get an apartment and together. convinces him. Yeah, yeah, it's yours. Yeah, <laughs> I think he gives, gives birth a month later, and he's like, "That was fast." <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm telling you here is, and this is good news. This is called the silver lining. Yeah, because if that happened, and that's your father, mm-hmm. you, my friend, are not a bastard because they are married. I I'd rather just take five me out. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. No, that's Nux. offensive. No, no. Uh, Nucks are fine. Uh, Nucks. The high five outreach program not allowed. Very I've, I've heard about that. We're not going to be doing high fives. No, anymore. you want to do some Nucks? Reminding me. Let's do Nucks. Do you make Nucks with Jim? Do some Nucks. Oh. Uh, he just uh, wipes it. We got a break, dude, because we got a. We only take it one, and we got Elijah coming in soon. We have Elijah Wood coming in, and let's be honest. Hot dog. You know he don't have any of the answers. Not masturbating <laughs> but uh, hopefully you'll find there's a lot of calls the phone lines are lit I'll tell you this speaking of masturbating that's all the, the guy that uh, hot dog keeps visiting in the hospital that's all he was doing because he wasn't busting loads in his mom <laughs> oh, that's for sure that's for I mean it, well, there's no kids chocolate rain <laughs> you don't have any younger siblings no so they didn't have any kids together Mm-mm. Oh, boy, except for uh, one little YouTube <laughs> phenomenon. <laughs> just just, just looking at him. Chocolate rain. <laughs> we don't know who's come to blame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a uh, Keep us updated, and we will be back with Elijah Wood. Yep. So hot, you, dog, dog. hot Dog is here. Oh. You know Hot Dog works for Taz now? I didn't know that. Taz Doing came, what? He's, uh, he's his phone screener. Taz came in here, and he stole our guy. And uh, and uh, and and is given hot dog employment ship. Well, good for him. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Hot dog, get that ass in here. I want to get an update from hot dog. Yeah, because he's got three so far. He's got three jobs. He works part time for Taz. He works part time. We got him a job here at Sirius. So he's like a, he's a phone screener for Taz. He's a board op at Sirius, and you do some something for Fox News, don't you? Yeah. We, well, you know, you could tell me what it is. Uh, production assistant. What does that mean? So I'm just, like, automating stuff for their, like, hourly shows. Do you just work like, for one show in particular or no? No, it's, well, they have a show here. It's serious. It's uh, t- headlines 24-7. Okay. So just, like, updating, like, the sound bites and stuff like that. But it's like not that. a serious job. It's a Fox News job. It's a Fox News job. That's what's yeah, up. They have their own studio over there, but it's over here. So they're You're, paying you. Yeah. Good. You're a board op here? Mm-hmm. So as a board op, would you advise uh, somebody who's on the air not to rub the mic on his shirt as he sat down? Who did that? You did. (laughs) I I have to say, who who else could have done that in the last 30 seconds? I love that that was his answer. Who did that? Who did that? (laughs) Who did such a stupid thing? (laughs) Why? Who did that? (laughs) Sounds stupid. If I told you Derek had done it, you'd be like, that's stupid, right? Yeah. But you didn't. (laughs) So it's understandable. Yeah. You were rushing to get to the mic. So you got three jobs. Mm Mm-hmm. You definitely know uh, what those jobs are. Yeah. How many dads do you have that you know who they are? Zero. Okay, so you're oh, still... No. God damn it. You still haven't gotten an answer? God damn it. I... So, real quick, to update uh, yeah. everybody who doesn't know Hot Dog... Uh, is a guy who's been around here for a long time. Uh, he was doing stuff uh, uh, for me at nights, and then uh, I introduced him to Jim, and then uh, actually he was Jim's intern before he was even with me. Yeah. But... Uh, he helps out with our show. He's got all these jobs around here. And his, per, this guy, uh, who he thought was his dad, has been in a coma for a year, right? Yeah. 
And be a year, uh, April 3rd. Happy anniversary. April 3rd! <laughs> <laughs> April 3rd! Oh! April 3rd! <laughs> so, he, uh, uh, but like a month or two ago, Hot Dog found out that that's not his dad. Right. And that he should be uh, legally referring to him as his stepdad. Uh, and his mom said, we'll talk about that later. That was a month or two? Uh, a month ago, It's yeah. literally the worst answer to that question ever given. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Right. And the guy who has been going around, who uh, your mother even said, if he says he's your dad, he's just kidding. Yeah. He, it's Hot Dog's mom's ex. Mm-hmm. Uh, who looks like uh, like a large version of like uh, Hot Dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, she, at one point when he was younger, said, hey... He's coming. Your brother's dad is coming over. So she had a couple kids by him. Your brother's dad is coming over. If he says that he's your actual father, he's just kidding. And Hot Dog went, okay. I was five. Well, you, oh, okay, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but and at no point between five. How old are you now? 25. Okay, so in 20 years, <laughs> that question wasn't raised in your head. And it clicks now, yeah. Right, right. You accept information nice, very easily and comfortably. <laughs> In hindsight, yeah, it's stupid, but... So yeah. your mom... But, you, your but mom hindsight, you asked, hindsight is... 2020. Actually, the phrase is hindsight is the key. But oh. go on. You, <laughs> a, you asked your mother about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, she said, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. A month ago. Yeah. And since then? I would... I try to bring it up twice <laughs> since I've seen her. And she's extremely hard-headed and either... Uh, I'll try to bring it up over there at the hospital, which is a really bad place to bring it up. That's the only place I see her at. Yeah. But in the in the room, like, can we talk about? Hey, we have the court date later. Like later on, should we talk about like like some of the info, or whatever? And what does she say? Well, because a, there's a court date to figure out legally who's who. Yeah. And that obviously, whether you're blood or not, especially since they weren't married. Is going to come up in the court date, right? She it's does, important. She, she doesn't want to get any fucking facts together. <laughs> she doesn't. She just wants to do it on the fly. Uh, so what does she say when you ask her? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I kind of hint. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of hint at it. I was like, uh, should we talk about like? Because remember when that lawyer called and she was asking me yeah. about like for the, my dad and all that? She was like, yeah, we we don't have to talk about that right now. He's right there. Blah, blah, blah. She just gets really. You, you, so your problem is you tolerate it. Like that's I'm I'm annoyed for you. Yeah, yeah. I know she's your mom and you love her, but just because she's your mom doesn't mean that she's giving you shit information in a critical situation. And she's yeah. she's doing wrong by you by not telling you. Yeah. And you have a right to know. And and eventually you're gonna have to go. Okay, well then I I I will not speak to you until you give me an answer on who my fucking dad is. She's yeah. She's a. She's a nightmare to deal with. I, I, I simply wouldn't deal with that if I were you. People's yeah. family, you know, people's families, you can't choose who your family is, but you can choose how you deal with them. And if they're being shitty yeah. and not telling you who your dad is, you know, you, you have the right to that conversation. Yeah. I'm really annoyed for you. I think that it's terrible the way she's handling it. Like, yeah. at first, okay, but it's been a fucking month. Right. And to not care that you don't know who your father is and you're asking. Yeah. Is, I mean, the, when we first met with the lawyer, um, which was a month ago. Mm-hmm. Like, I went in there, and I'm me knowing the facts that I know, like, when we, like, how long they've been living together and stuff like that. Like, the lawyer would ask me, right, so, uh, your mom and your dad, uh, they've been living together, and I would go, oh, since 91, basically since I was born. Right. And then she would go in front of the lawyer, oh, now 95, like, in front of the lawyer, just, just throwing, throwing weird but that's shit. That's not, that's, it's, it's, yeah, it's Like, very, you remember, nine, like, you don't remember 91, because you were kind of too young yeah but i know so you remember before 95 though yeah, <laughs> yeah like, well, why know. would she lie about that like what's the reason for her she's paranoid that? about like a bunch of legal shit um so she just wants it's one of those I, I think sometimes i mean sometimes there is legal reason to lie but sometimes people just lie so that they control the information there's no reason for her not to be telling you yeah, I could see the lawyer, lawyers or whatever. Yeah, but to not tell you when you have every fucking right to know. Yeah, is Who she a selfish is? person? Is she what? Is she a selfish person? Um, I don't. I don't think. She, yeah, a meaning bit. keeping a guy alive who is obviously in tremendous discomfort. Yeah, not giving you the information. Is she worried more about herself than other people? And I have to ask them having met her. No, no, no. It, it's very like she. She's caring, but I don't think she realizes that. Sometimes her decisions aren't the the best ones, but she's very hard headed about it. So, like okay. when she goes, uh, we don't need to talk about this right now. Yeah, 
Do you just go oh, like you just well, kind of I, already blow it know, off? I already know where that would head. Like right. if I would continue to push her, I already know. Like she and she's given this already to other people. Like oh, so like if I would have like, well, I need to know if he's like blood related or anything like that. She would go oh, so he's not your dad all of a sudden. Like I already know. But and and you're sitting there going like hey, logically, I don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> I don't know if he is. You're not telling me. The reality she, is this: when she gives you a bullshit answer like that, you say that's not important. I have yeah. the right to know the truth. Yeah, you're pushing me off, and I'm sick and tired of being pushed off. Yeah, I'm 25 years old. Yeah, so I haven't talked to her in a while. Like, like I'll talk to her like like maybe for a minute. Oh, uh, every two or three days, and that's have about you tried it. to just talk to her outside of the hospital, or it just hasn't come up. She's never outside of it. outside of the hospital. They're they're thinking about booting her out because you can't sleep at a hospital every single day. You can't because then yeah. Holofield could just come in and go, "Yeah, that's my uncle." Fucking <laughs> yeah. crash out on the floor. <laughs> yeah, good strategy. Yeah, so. she's like, "Hot dog, I'm not going to pay rent anymore." Good news. Yeah. Like, you're going to have to find a place to live because I'm just going to move into this hospital <laughs> room right now. Would you tolerate that? I would never tolerate no that way. person. No, absolutely. I, I would not. literally cut somebody out of my life and never speak. I don't care who it is. If they would, yeah. if, if something that critical, not to tell you when you're asking. Yeah. Or just have to sit down. horribly insulting. Like, Mom, this isn't about the relationship that I have with my dad. This is about me knowing what's going on in my life. Like, I just need to know where I came from. Yeah, man. medically, you have the fucking right to know. Yeah. And there's, like, there's another issue now, which... Oh, boy. Like, I, I, I'm i just... This is probably good news. <laughs> okay, what's the issue? <laughs> um, she's looking into having him move back into the apartment. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Because her thing is, well, if I can't sleep here, then I'm just going to bring him back to my home and have a nurse there 24-7. Do you think she's lost her mind since this happened? A little. I, I mean, maybe. I don't yeah. know. But she's really worried about him uh, being separate from her. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, and I try to go, you can't just bring someone in that condition to a, like an apartment building, even with a nurse or something and think it's going to be fine. Like, what if like we lose power or something happens, you need all the like equipment and all that stuff. And she's just like, oh, so you just want to have the house to yourself. And I, I see what it is. She said what? That? Why yeah. do you talk to her? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I, I mean, I'm not to disrespect your mom. I know it's your mom, but why do yeah. you, she, why do you speak to her? I mean, at the end of the day, I still care about her, but she, it, it, yeah, right. she's a nightmare. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. Yeah. You can pick their <laughs> nose, though, right, Sammy boy? Yeah, Jim, huh? getting a little vulgar. Hey, babe. Nah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so she'll give me that's it. <laughs> she'll give me a response like that. Oh, you just want to have the apartment to yourself. That's why you don't want him to move in. So and any, then I just hang up. I, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. Hang up on her. Yeah, I'm, I'm not dealing with this. Anytime you question or disagree with her, she twists it into, oh, you're against wow. me. Oh, you're acting selfishly. Yeah. Oh, I know what your, what your little plan yeah. is. Or Do you like, tell her, like, mom, like, she should know that you are too stupid to have a plan like that. You know what I mean? Does she not realize that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you should tell her. Or if I try to, because I told you she's having issues with my dad's side of the family and what they should do. Yeah. So if I try to maybe be the middleman or like even just bring something up. of reason. Yeah, something that they might have a point on. She, oh, so you're, at, you're in their side. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, is she a narcissist? A little bit, yeah. Wow. Yeah. She's God, and narcissists are enraging. Yeah. So you can't bring something up. She'll just go to the extreme. So, All right. Well, yeah. Someone's, someone's calling the Tyrone uh, in Brooklyn. I, I think you're going to want to hear this. Hello? Okay. <laughs> yo, 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 hot dog. What's up? What's up oh, man? hey, Tyrone. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hot dog. You're my boy. You're my flesh and blood, son. Boy, like, like I'm your son? That's right, my son. You... You are my flesh and blood. Don't listen to your mom. I've always loved you. Where you been? Tyrone is your dad. Yeah, where you been? I've been here and there, you know. I mean, <laughs> trying to get that paper, Tyrone. You know it. I'm with you. I'm with you. So congratulations. Hot dog. <laughs> okay. Tyrone in New York is your dad. I can leave now. Then I, I got it all figured yeah. out. Mom, right, Tyrone called the radio show. I know. I know who he is. On. Yeah, he lives in Brooklyn. He loves me. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to get that money right now. Yeah. He's trying to get his money right. And then he's going to come back in my life. <laughs> um, I shouldn't be annoyed, but I am. It's not my business. But no, it's an annoying it. thing. Yeah. Do you have any plan? Or is it just like, fuck it, I'm just going to get three jobs so I don't have to deal with any of this stuff? It's that. It's eventually when we go to court, I'm going to let her speak, and then I'm just going to hear what she tells the lawyer. And, oh then, my God. and then just back her up? 
No, I'm, not, you, I'm not gonna back what, her up. He's gonna just, he's gonna hear what she tells the lawyer because it will be more information than he's got. Yeah. Wow. Will you have to talk in court? Uh, well, it's not a court. It's just a little meeting. Will you have to talk there, under oath? Um, I'm not too sure yet. I would, it's can't so, lie. Yeah. If, it, if it's under oath and this is about finances and yeah. you're lying, yeah, it's fucking perjury. No, you yeah, can't I do know. it. Do you understand how badly I want tape? <laughs> of hot dog having to talk about this under oath. I do understand. What is the relation between you and this man? I uh, um, I, I, uh, I don't my I don't know. No, he doesn't know. No, I know, but he has to say that. You know, he has to say I don't know. He has to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Hot dog. If you're under oath and they say that man is in the hospital, mm -hmm. what is his uh, relation to you? No clue. <laughs> 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 no. uh, I would love, I would love to hear Hot Dog's honest testimony. Yeah. If I, if there is some kind of trial, like a public trial, yeah. I'm going. I'm sitting in. Would the you go and watch? Yeah, yeah, I would. <laughs> Do you think he might flub some of the answers? I, even if he didn't flub some of the answers, the honest answers would be so entertaining. Just because he would be so frustrated and like, just because the honest answers to the questions are so preposterous. That I don't know how anybody could like form a case or evidence or anything from it. Yeah. None of it makes any sense. No. Yeah. But it's what he knows. That's just like, that's hot dog world. Like, that's just the life that he leads. And that's why he just is like uh, trying to get as many part time jobs as humanly possible. Yeah, it really yeah. is a bizarre story. Yeah, it's a, it's a custody battle, basically. So, custody battle for who? Oh, for, you, for, the, for your dad. For that guy. Yeah, for the man. Right, for the gentleman yeah, is. His family side. And but he's still your dad in your mind. He's the role of your dad is him. Yeah. So and you love him. Yeah. But he's your dad in your mind. But just like in your, like, it's like having an imaginary friend. Like, <laughs> like yeah, it's cool. my friend. Nobody can see him, but he's still my friend. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's a little bit more than that. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Someone has an amazing <laughs> suggestion for you. Okay. How you can do this. Although you have to get her out of the room. James in Texas. Great idea. Hey, uh, Jim, I was just going to say, why doesn't Hot Dog get some hair samples and maybe do a paternity test like they do, you know, for kids and stuff like that? Like yeah. just like shave part of his hair? No, no snip it. You just need a couple little strands. You don't need like a fucking <laughs> yeah. barbershop floor work. <laughs> oh, man, man, time's up, sock cuckers. You don't have to stay home. Oh, wait, I fucked up. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Chip, that means we only have a minute left. <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Get, some, get a couple hair samples? Yeah. yeah, but you have to yank him out a fistful by the root. <laughs> yeah. And really, pubic hair is where most of the DNA lies. <laughs> yes. And the best ones to get are, are in the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. And then you just send him to Connecticut where Maury tapes. Okay. And you get all your answers there. All right, I'll work on that. It'll be good. We'll see you on Monday, folks. Bye, everybody. Do we have an uh, an update from you on your family? He's got a tremendously interesting family situation. Well, so when we when we last left, uh, hot dog over here. Yeah, hot dog is a uh, he, he has a, a bunch of jobs around here, but we've known him for a little while. And so a year a year and a half ago, his, a, year. His, a year ago, his dad. Uh, was involved in a... You missed a, the air quotes. People can't yeah. see that at home. <laughs> Sam made air quotes around the dad. That's right. He was involved in an accident. The non-blood relative who was sticking his penis in his mother. Yeah, theoretically. Theoretically. Uh, with no actual evidence no, of that. all three holes. But... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. His, his dad was involved uh, in an in a accident on a construction site. Yes. He's in a coma now. He's paralyzed. Been, Jesus. Paralyzed in a coma yep. for a year. Yeah. He ain't waking up. The guy in the Halloween costume, that was his dad. So, the reason... Artie Fuqua's his dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, recent, like a month ago, maybe two months ago, Hot Dog is sitting there, and he, hears, he overhears his family talking, his mom and his brother. And... His brother's going, well, are you going to tell him? And his mom's going, "She, he doesn't need to know. And his brother's going, but that's not his dad. And Hot Dog is just sitting there watching TV, pretending he doesn't hear any of it. Literally not just standing up and going, what the fuck is going on yeah, here? Really? Like, why is this happening? Do now, you look like your brothers? Yeah. <laughs> but okay. his brothers have a different dad. Okay. The mother's so, the same. Okay. What floods back is the guy who fathered his brother's. He used to come visit the house when he was younger, and his mom would say things. He's like six years old. His mom would say things like, "If you know, if he comes over here and starts saying things like he's your father, don't listen to him. He's joking." 
Yeah, it's the worst handled situation. So, hot dog comes Where into work. Where are you from? I'm Dominican. Okay. Yeah. Hot dog comes into work one day, and like he's like, yeah, he told us on the air. He's like, I just, uh, I actually don't know if that's my dad anymore. I don't know who my dad is. It's a Dominican claiming a kid. Let him have it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it's so not a thing that happens. They have to go to court, though, because... Uh, there's there's all kinds of legalities with this man who's in a coma. And so Hot Dog goes to his mom after hearing this conversation and goes, the lawyer's talking to me about how to figure out what we're going to do in this legal situation. He's asking me if there's a birth certificate for my dad. What should I tell him? And his mom just goes, just tell him he's your stepfather and we'll talk about it later. And Hot Dog goes, whoa, whoa. Uh, Okay. Well, she doesn't like talking about a lot of things. But you, so. but to me, I put half <laughs> the blame dad. on you for the way you handled it. Like you didn't make her tell you. Like I would have, no. I would have, yeah, I would have been kind of adamant. <laughs> I would have been adamant about a fucking explanation. Who my dad is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, your uncle's gonna say he's your dad. He's joking. How is that tolerable? So he uh, accepted that, and then weeks went by, and that's kind of, I think, where we left it off. Is that right? Yeah. I told you guys I had a court hearing, like, the following week. But but you also we also said that you really, before the court hearing, needed to talk to your mom about mm-hmm. who your dad was, correct? Yeah. If it's this man in the coma, if it's this man uh, in the Dominican Republic that looks like a kind of fatter version of you. Yeah, suspiciously very closely. If it's just some other guy that was filling up your mom, we don't know. Yeah. Do we know? Uh, no. <laughs> so what, did you talk Did you to finally her? talk to her? We had a little two-minute chit-chat on the phone. That's about how long it should take. Yeah. <laughs> did you call her or did she call you? No, because I, I already knew she wasn't going to have a conversation with me. How old are so, you? 25. So how long uh, have you thought that this man in the coma was your father? 25 years. Okay. Right, go on. <laughs> so she gives you minute one minute chit-chat. for every 12 and a half years. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you wanted three minutes. You know, until you're 36. Okay. So you call your mother and you say, I want to talk to you? No. So uh, the last time I was here, I told Sam I was probably just going to wait until the court hearing because... <laughs> My mother, she will probably lie to me or make up some bullshit, but she's not gonna lie. She's not to gonna her. lie under oath. She's right. a real yeah. God yeah. woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You should have made her take an oath on the Bible before she had a conversation with you. Well, she knows there's there's some legal ramifications for lying, so she's not gonna bullshit. Right. She doesn't that. want to go to jail. Sure. Yeah. So I was like, well, if I go over here and I listen, I'm gonna find out the truth regardless. So. That's the best way to find out family issues in a, in a court of <laughs> yeah. law. Yeah. Sure. It's, yeah. So. um... So it's the day before the hearing, and we're, like, setting everything up. We're getting, like, uh, paperwork ready and all that stuff. Uh, and then... We? You're, you're sitting there with your mother doing this? No, like, she's over. She's somewhere else getting paperwork. I'm at home getting paperwork. Okay. We're getting it all ready. Right. So then uh, she calls me maybe 20 minutes before I go to bed, and then I pick up, and she goes... Oh, hey, by the way, um... <laughs> I like how it's always like, hey, by hey, the yeah, way... Yeah, before bed, let me just... Yeah. Yeah, this Quick thing! Meant yeah. to tell you! <laughs> yeah. She goes, so before you go to bed, uh, I spoke with the lawyer today, and she insists in uh, telling you that uh, your dad is not your actual father. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer insists. She's like, look... I don't want to do this. My arm's getting twisted here, so I guess I'll just tell you. If you get any problem with it, talk to the lawyer. Yeah. Not me. Not your mother. Yeah, so she goes, look, she doesn't want you to find out tomorrow at the hearing, so she told me I need to tell you this. So whatever you hear at the court hearing, just go with it, and then we'll talk about this later. And what did I, you say? I was tired of it. I was like, yeah, okay. But why do you, why, why, why you say, yeah, okay? How do you no I, I know there's not going to be... Any type of like really deep conversation with her. I okay, okay, her. How do you okay. Tolerate that. Maybe you her? don't need depth, but could you be like, good to know? Yeah. So just uh, before you go, real quick, before I go to bed, who's my father? <laughs> Did well, you ask that or no? Well, she goes, we'll talk about this later on. But you know you're not going to talk about it later on because she said yeah. that before. Why didn't you tell her we'll talk about it right now or I'm not going to say this to the lawyer? Uh, <laughs> you understand how much control you have? No, yeah, you have to cooperate. Really, I, yes. I am not going to cooperate if you don't tell me everything I want to know right now. Yeah, and just the fact that she goes... The lawyer insisted, or that we'll talk, and then dismisses the rest of your questions. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. She's your mom, and I'm sure you love her, but that's shitty. As yeah. if it's like this. This I'm going to ruin the relationship with his mother. That's my goal. <laughs> you should. As if it's this trivial thing that, like, I mean, this is easily going to get covered in court. I don't know why we have to have a conversation about it here, but yes, 
That man in a coma is not your father. <laughs> so, all right. So, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. <laughs> I like, almost laughed about it. But when... why didn't why didn't you, why didn't you have any follow up? Like, no, you have to talk to me about this. Or who is my father? Or it's, what's my relationship to that man who's not waking up? It's because I wasn't surprised that this is how she would handle it at all. Right. I guess. Do you Just, like her? Yeah. I, mean, I know you love her, but do you like her? That's a good question. Uh, like her as in, like, if she wasn't my mother. Meaning somebody who would, <laughs> like, like, would you kick it with her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you like, like her? <laughs> I get why you, like, she lied to you, but then, then when you demand an answer and she still won't tell you? Uh. <laughs> you know how fucking angry that would make me? I know, yeah. I just laugh about it at this point. Well, that's because you know what you're doing. You're uh, building this uh, nice, uh, psychologically healthy brick wall <laughs> around all of your emotions. Yeah. And what generally happens there is those emotions just stay tight in that brick wall. That never comes back to haunt you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You won't be sitting there with erection difficulties in 15 years <laughs> wondering what went wrong. Right. Right. Uh, oh, you hate women. Right. Thinking uh, about I'll, how you weren't molested when your older friends were blowing you. Yeah, well, Come on. I'll, I'll deal with that later. So that's, that's, fine. <laughs> that's fine. Jesus, man. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Uh, so so you do let the conversation end after two minutes. Yeah, because at this point I was just tired of her pushing it all the way and just telling me the fucking night before. I was like, okay, all right. But yeah, you cause... figure. Do you live with her? I mean, you, she lives with us, and up until recently, she wasn't staying there at all because I told her she was like staying at the That'd hospital. That'd be great that she called him from a room over. <laughs> <laughs> She's downstairs. Call you know where the sound. call's with coming her, from. It's inside her, the house. <laughs> with her lawyer that was, have you uh, had a kid that you haven't told? <laughs> Marshall? <laughs> Yeah, she got inspired watching daytime TV. <laughs> Maybe I'm too quick to cut people out of my life, but you, I would cut somebody out for oh, that dude, shit yeah, in absolutely. a second. I would tell yeah. her I'm no longer speaking to you. You better not be paying bills in that house now that you got a little bit of... Uh, I am. What are you doing, bro? Yeah, well, paying almost everything I have to. Mm, so why don't you take the... Not pay the Stop money... Stop smiling when you say everything, please. <laughs> <I> <laughs> <know>. scary? <laughs> yes. He what? can't help it. He's just got one of those faces. When he's mad, he kind of smiles a nervous <laughs> smile. Yeah. You never know when he's in a real rage. He pulls out a hammer. Hot dog. <laughs> if you weren't paying for everything in the house, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You could save some of that money. And then in fairly short order, rent your own smaller apartment mm -hmm. so that you wouldn't have to live with the woman who insists on lying to you literally every day of your life. Well, I even kind of brought that up with her. Yeah, I said there's an apartment, and like and I, I like I'm taking baby steps. I said, I said there's an apartment downstairs. Perfect. In the same building. One bedroom, two bedroom. Could you afford it? I, I mean, I'll find a roommate or something. It's fine. Okay. So I said there's an apartment downstairs. I'll still be like in the same building as you guys. Sure. And then she goes on her old rant. Was like, oh, you just. Don't care about me and your father. See, here's the, here's the here's the you don't know who your father yeah. is. <laughs> she's a narcissist. Yeah, I yeah. think she's a narcissist, yeah. and I think that you're 25 years old and you're yeah. fucking tolerating this shit. Yeah, like again, I'm not saying I get why she lied. Hey, he's your stepdad. He's your dad. You, but then once it comes out and you ask for an explanation, and she won't give you one. Yeah. you're out of your mind to ask her. What do you think? I, I would just leave. Plus, yeah. imagine, imagine you're crazy, dude. Imagine the strange you could get back into your own apartment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I would sue her for all the fun. <laughs> Other day gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I want half my money back. <laughs> I want 25 years worth of Father's Day gifts. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's had issues with my other siblings, too. There's one sibling who just doesn't talk to her at I all. wouldn't either if I were you. Yeah. And then just cut her out. Yeah. That's my, all you can do with a narcissist. I mean, cut them out. Move yeah. downstairs. No, my older, my older sister, she's 29. I've seen her maybe twice in my life, just because she just cut my mom off completely. Why'd she cut her off? Uh, Probably her problem, right? Definitely not your mom's right. problem. I don't know too much about it because they don't talk about of it. Of course, it happened. Oh, really? Right? That's so <laughs> Jesus odd. Christ. Uh, it happened when they were teen when she was a teenager. Uh, and so she moved down to Florida. She came back a couple of years ago, trying to rekindle like a bond or whatever. How'd that go? It lasted two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Who blew it? Uh, my mom did. How'd she blow it? So my sister had kids. And that's kind of what made her realize that maybe she should have a relationship just with her like, mother Just again. have some blood relative grandmother connection. Yeah. Yeah. So she, she goes, hey, like, I want to go visit you for a couple of weeks. Is that cool? I'm going to bring my kids over. So then from time to time, my sister, who's still in her, tw who at that point was still in her 20s, she was like, uh, floozy. <laughs> she would go, hey, I'm not, like, I'm going to go out tonight. Is it okay if you can take care of the kids? It wasn't anything crazy, you know, because like, my mom's not doing anything. So then it happens maybe three times. 
And then my mom goes, oh, I see what she's done. She just, <laughs> <laughs> she just came over here so she could party, uh -huh. and I can take care of the kids. So she doesn't want to look at the, after the grandchildren. Yeah, so cool. she, she makes a little and remark. Which she's, she's always a victim. Have yeah. you noticed that? Yeah. yeah. Always a victim. So she makes a little remark one night when my sister's leaving, uh, and she goes, just make sure you're here by two, because when the door's locked, you know, no one's going to open the door for you. And then, her, Were the kids in there? Yeah, she's gonna lock her out at two a.m. Yeah, so then that kind of starts a little thing, and then they started arguing. This is this is why I never talked to you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm your mother, so you have a curfew, and if you don't meet your curfew, I'm taking your kids from yeah, you. Yeah, I'll lock you out and keep the children in here. Yeah. I'm gonna kidnap your children if you're not home by curfew. And then wait till you hear who I tell them their dad is. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a, there's a history of my uh, all right my so with your right family. Do you think her. you're gonna okay. move out? Oh, yeah, that's what I told her. I said, I'm 25. I'm going to want to move out eventually, Mom. Eventually. Why do you have to ask permission to move out? You're a grown-up. He's a chicken yeah. shit before you <laughs> grow really, up. It's amazing. You're an adult. Yeah. And then, you know, it, she Gee, Mom, I'll be in the building. I'll just no, move but that's, out. That's that Hispanic shit where it's yeah. just like, family's everything, but then they fuck you. Like, yeah. they fuck yes. you, dude. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. We got you out of the movie theater, bro. You know what I mean? Now yeah. it's out of your mom's apartment. Same Maybe times. Yeah. No, make big man steps. Who's the big man? Who's the big man? Hot dog. Is. That was Say a really dog. hesitant point. <laughs> You're the big man. <laughs> hot dog's the big man. Hot okay. Yeah. So hot dog goes to the uh, the court here. The court the next day. Yeah. After getting the confirmation at the lawyer's behest. Yeah. That that's not your dad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so how I, did the how did the how did the court hearing go without giving any details that you don't want to give? Yeah. Well, so first of all, she's already bitching at me. The court hearing's at ten a.m. She's bitching at you. Yeah. What's she bitching at you about? Uh, what? <laughs> the court hearing's at ten a.m. Uh -huh. and I have a show at CBS that I work for until like what nine o'clock? Right. Which I could easily make it to downtown by like nine forty-five. Hot dog. Ironically, after he came in here, is the phone screener on the Taz show. Yep. Yeah. Which is fun. Yeah. So. I go, I'm going to be there at 9.45, court hearing's at 10. And she goes, you couldn't just call off of work? This is a very important hearing. And I was like, well, I'm going to be there right on time. So she's, it's already off to a bad start. Sure. So I get there, and this is a lawsuit between my mother and my father's side of the family. Of course. So we're waiting outside of the courtroom. Wait, wait, wait. Your mm -hmm. mother and... Versus, like, my uncle from, like, my dad's side. Who? Who's your dad? Who's your dad? Well, who I thought was my dad. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. He's your dad, but not your biological. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. So uh, let's, let's re refer to him as uh, 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 Exhibit A or something yeah. like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. So otherwise it's just Jeff. Confusing. Call him Jeff. So. <laughs> He's literally the one, the only person we know is not your dad. It yeah. could be anyone else. Yeah. Pretty yes. much. He's not. We'll he's call definitely him not. Tofu hot dog because he's <laughs> fake. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're waiting. So I get to outside the courtroom and, uh, there's two benches and it's my mother and her witnesses and it's like fucking just a bunch of strangers, like, that don't what, know. what are the witnesses? What, what are they, they saying? Witnessed? I saw I, I, that I man fuck that woman. <laughs> <laughs> Just other people from their swingers club. Yeah, what could they? What it's witnesses ridiculous. could they be? There's DNA. Well, yeah. So she's just bringing friends along to like, kind of, <laughs> just kind of be like, yeah, they were together for twenty years. Like, oh, I'm to, a to say that they were a couple for twenty years, even yeah, they weren't legal. character witnesses. But like half of the people never. So this met. court case is not to see if you're the son. No, it's, it's no. we all know okay. he's not. It's yeah. to see okay. who gets guardianship over the guy who's in the coma right yeah which would mean who gets not only money. him but his stuff yeah yeah pretty yes. much who gets to watch him the biological family or the woman who's legally not married to him but was his partner kind of like what Vaughn went through when patrice was fucked up right who gets control right even though Vaughn was 10 years and this is a lot longer well yeah, yeah and the other difference is that Vaughn uh was not a crazy liar mm -hmm. yeah that's, you know yeah. That's, by that's the way a biological difference. family wins almost yeah. every time yeah so, uh, so I get outside, so I'm waiting outside, or I just get to like the hallway where the, like the courtroom is. And so they're sitting in a bench. It's my mother and her witnesses. And it's like my uncle and his witnesses. And like his witnesses are all family members. So and who are you a yeah. witness for? I, I guess I was there for my mother. So like, whatever. What were you supposed to say? Oh, that you lived with him for all those years. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, so like I go sit with my mom, but it's like weird. I don't know if I should go say hi to my uncle who's technically suing me too. So. I stop by and I go, hey, yeah, I got three jobs now. Everything's cool. Yeah. How, how you doing? Oh. No, that's perfect. When there's a, a lawsuit, let him know there's more money on the table now. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> well, Did he say like, hello to you? No, my uncle's like, hey, how you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, okay. Um, he knows. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He knows. I was living with my other uncle. Yeah, his <laughs> uncle. <laughs> um, you know, is your uncle your dad, do you think? 
No. Could no. be. <clears throat> I mean, anyone could be, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, so then we're, we finally go inside the courtroom, uh, the, like the lady screams, I'm going to get my, take my hat off and I'm like, all right, whatever. So then who screams at you? Like the fucking, like the cop or lady or whatever. So the bailiff? Walk, yeah, the bailiff. And like, get your, take your hat off. I was like, what? I haven't taken a fucking step in yet. Like, relax. See, it's not a good start. Hot dog's vibe is very like, he could give a shit. Like in almost every scenario, so he's like the type of person that would. I'm. He doesn't get nervous and he doesn't respond all that well to authority, but he doesn't get hostile either. He's right. like the type of person that would be up on the stands. Like, did you see this man in your house for twenty years? Mm, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like every everything that comes out of Hot Dog's face is like indignant. <laughs> like, yeah. Like this, yes, sure. So she must have been like, uh, sir, can you take your hat off? Yeah, I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we, we all sit down. Uh, I'm in the front with my mom, and my uncle is like across, and then like all the witnesses. It's basically just like a fucking crew, just like 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 fucking rappers. They bring their entourage. It was like behind <laughs> us. Uh, so the the judge goes, uh, just to be clear. Uh, I want to know, like, who are all these people here? Because <laughs> there's at least, like, maybe seven people in each fucking stand. I've seen that on Judge Marilyn Millian on the People's Court. She doesn't like it when there's a whole bunch of people that don't need to be there. Yeah, you got people who, like, never met my dad before. So I'm like, what do you what do? Like you. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> so, um, and no one... No one here speaks English, by the way. Um, so, oh, Jesus. oh my God! It's it's me Ugh. and maybe one other girl who speaks English. And my mom doesn't. My mom doesn't speak English. My uncle doesn't speak English. No one speaks English. Uh, so oh, immediately we're Did struggling. Judge, how unhappy he must have been. <laughs> she, no, she was very pissed Does off. Does she speak in the Spanish? The judge? No. They should kind of make you have a judge that. I mean, they had a translator. Okay. And uh, usually they would have. Three translators for us because there's so many fucking people here who don't know. <laughs> sure, <laughs> but two of them called out sick. So one person, one translator, had to just yell out everything throughout the whole like proceeding. Um, so we start with my uncle uh, explaining his situation. I'm I'm his brother. I'm like I want guardianship. Blah, blah, blah. And I could talk about this because it's over now. Yeah. Um, I want guardianship. And then she, my, the lawyer, I mean, the judge goes, all right, so who's, uh, who's your lawyer? Who's representing you? Uh, and he points at an official who like, uh, who's sitting next to him, who he believed was his lawyer. For, <laughs> he like, didn't the, know who his lawyer was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of official is this? Like, like a referee? <laughs> this guy was like, just a, <laughs> investigator. a guy in a footlocker shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was just an investigator. Who was, <laughs> So he pointed out someone had to be told that he wasn't an attorney. I, I died laughing because this guy this guy was going around the hospital and speaking with my uncle and speaking with my mom. But he's just collecting evidence. He's, he's collecting just evidence. an investigator. Who yeah. does he work for? He's a case he, chaser. He works for the court. Say that again. Is he a case chaser? Like is I don't know. That's guy? his official title, but probably something like okay. that. He getting was just... evidence for the court. Yeah, yeah. Trying but, to see. but getting evidence for the court to then be handed to an expert, right? To be able to try in a right. case, right? right. Yeah. So, so the your uncle just cases. thought no, he was no. a lawyer. I thought he was no. one of those <laughs> shitty lawyers that Dump. like wait around the hospital. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't okay. a lawyer at all. No. Did he go to okay. law school? Do you think? No. Okay. So your uncle assumed this man that he's never had a legal discussion with was his attorney. Fair enough. Cool. Definitely. But they're definitely brother and sister. I so. cannot imagine being like a, a a court judge that you would have to deal with this. Like, well, who's your lawyer? <laughs> Idiocy. It's him. Yeah. The, the years, years of schooling. schooling. Yeah. The years of schooling. And then you just have a bunch of Dominicans yelling at you. <laughs> so, so, so the judge goes, okay, so who's representing you in this case? And my uncle goes, oh, this gentleman right over here. <laughs> Oh. And how, what, how did the gentleman respond? The gentleman responds, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not your lawyer. I'm, I, I'm just an investigator. <laughs> how did that man never think to say to that guy, "Are you my attorney?" Or, or how did the investigator never think to say, "Would you like me to give this evidence to anybody? Is there a lawyer I could hand it to?" So, I don't know. So that's how that's how your uncle finds out he is actually going to be representing himself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool. <laughs> oh, I love that. So already, I'm in the front, and I'm going like, I'm just like going. All right, this, we we got are you, this. One. Are you laughing? Yeah. 
<laughs> so, because oh my, my mom actually got a lawyer, and it's like you know, she's like, a, it's not like one of those TV lawyers. Like we paid a couple, here's, couple here's, bucks for her and stuff. Here's the thing about hot dog. Hot dog loves to laugh at people's mistakes. Like it's the it's the one thing that gets a genuine laugh out of hot dog every every time. It's mistakes and misfortune. His favorite <laughs> thing on the planet. I've watched it, and he'll laugh for days if like. If you're congratulating a group of people individually and one person gets forgotten, Hot Dog will laugh at that person (laughs) for days because they weren't acknowledged. Sure. So this idea that, like, he doesn't have a lawyer even though he thought he did, that is right up Hot Dog's alley in terms of comedy. That's a horrible thing to find out a week before the court hearing. It's a really bad thing to find out. In court? While you're in In front of the judge? How could that happen? He thought there was no payments, nothing he had to go through. His family's there. Like, we're we're all here just witnessing this fucking idiot. How embarrassing. (laughs) At least he's nice to you. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Of course he is. He thought he was just lawyer. That really is embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so your mom. Uh, Did you ever, have a, you ever have a scenario like that? Have you ever been to court or needed a lawyer and then realized that it was just some guy? It's never occurred to me <laughs> to not know my relationship with a man in court. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. So so then uh, the judge is like. Now at this point, is the entourage in the bag like, eh, we got no lawyer. <laughs> Just at point. One guy starts playing Daddy Yankee out of a boombox. <laughs> 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 oh, no Where's Judge Watner? <laughs> at this point, what? the uh, translator hasn't, you know, gotten to that point yet. So there's a lot of confusion going on. Um, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so the judge goes, "Yeah, this is not your. This is not your lawyer." You need to have a lawyer here present. If not, you're going to be representing yourself. Because we ain't delaying this. We're not yet. Well, I mean, no. She actually gives him an opportunity to delay it. And oh, he's so fucking hard-headed. Like, she goes, well, all right, look. We can delay this for a future date. And, like, his family's there, so he's embarrassed. And he just, he just goes... No, no, I can represent myself. That's oh, fine. Are you flipping out at that like, point? Oh, my God. <laughs> so he's basically, he's arrogant. Instead of saying, I'll get an attorney, he's embarrassed to say, I'll do it myself. Uh, he said, I'll, I'll do this, this myself. This is, a, this is a movie now. What an ass. Like, you're watching this like a movie. Yeah. And at this point, like, my mom's an idiot, too. So I, I, I figured <laughs> I figured maybe we're walking into, like, a bad situation and we might not win this. Right. But then he does something like this, and I go, okay, now we got this in the back. This guy... Okay. He, he doesn't even speak English. Like, how is this going to work out? Okay, so he's going to defend himself. He's, he's going to defend himself. Yes. And I'm in the back just laughing my ass off. The word's going around to the family because the word's like, is getting translated and people are like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> some murmur, murmur, murmur. <laughs> yeah. And they wouldn't shut the fuck up. It's like they were in a movie theater or some shit. They have, like, to, they have to bang that gavel a lot. <laughs> Like two times, the, the the bailiff was just like, "You guys need to keep it down." Um, <laughs> like they were in a movie. Would you like theater. to have been there and seen this? Oh my! Oh, I would pay God. to see this. this Could have been amazing. one of my witnesses. Yeah, I would have loved it. <laughs> Only so if they had subtitles. Much. <laughs> Do you uh, know how? Especially like because you would have been able to enjoy it on so many levels. Because you would have heard because the judge is obviously speaking English, so you would have heard that right, and so you get that first reaction and you're laughing, and then you realize the family hasn't found out yet because the. Tra- Translation hasn't come through. So then you get that second laugh when the family <laughs> finds out. Oh, I would love. And to then be he there. says he's going to represent himself. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> that dumb ego. It's like fine. I got this. I just, got this bro. just machismo. <laughs> <laughs> All that machismo. So okay. So so we find out he's representing himself. The next thing the judge does is she tries to figure out who the fuck everyone else is in the courtroom. So she goes. All right. Are, is anyone here a witness? Because if you're a witness, we need you to wait outside uh, because you're going to testify and we can't have you listening. Listening. Yet. Sure. So everyone stands up and they're about to leave. And then she goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Is everyone here a witness or are you just spectating? Because we're not going to have 20 fucking people talking and saying the same exact thing. If you're not going to say that, if you're not going to say like bring something to the table, you guys should just sit. Mm-hmm. No one there's going to bring anything to the table. <laughs> They're not. I, know, I know this already. But do they know they don't bring anything to the table? They, they may know. think they have something important right. to say. Yeah. So the judge no one ever them, thinks I have nothing to say. So right. the judge gives them a chance to sit down right. because they're not going to be witnesses. Right. And then they all still just stand up and leave. <laughs> so then, so they're all going to be witnesses. They're, they are. They're all going to. And they're all bringing gonna, something to the table. Yeah. They're yeah. not bringing anything. To and the by table. the way, and 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 the way 
to figure out what somebody brings to the table is to have the best lawyer possible to sure. bring it out of them. Mm-hmm. In this scenario, the lawyer is <laughs> your uncle. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Brilliant. Legal <laughs> who, mind. Who, 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 this is the legal mind who assumed that his... In private, who assumed his investigator was actually his lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. He's a genius. Right. So uh, I'm actually thinking I'm going to be a witness because I'm the son. Uh, so I leave with everyone else. Uh, my lawyer comes back like outside the courtroom mm-hmm. and she goes, look, chances are she's not going to, the judge isn't going to call anyone. So if you guys want to come back inside She's only going to call on my, on my, like on your mother and the uncle, and that's it. You guys can come inside, sit down. You're not going to testify. So then I go, okay, I'll, I'll go back and sit. My side goes back and sit. Right. But since there's no one to translate <laughs> <laughs> for, <laughs> for my uncle's side, it was basically like a fuck you. We didn't bother to tell him that they could come back inside. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, not so, knowing that it was the attorney telling you. Yeah. So they just all stood outside. They just they, they just waited outside. And I, like I could have just told one of them, like, hey, you could come but back. But did in. you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you just let them stay outside. A bunch of fools. Had, yeah, I just had to tell them wait outside. Now tell me this: you're sitting there in the courtroom now. Yeah. You know all ten of them are waiting outside. Yeah. As you're watching the trial unfold, are you chuckling to yourself? Because you know they're outside? Yeah. <laughs> and it's the image of uh, my mom and her posse just on one side, like right behind her. And then it's my uncle. And there's <laughs> like, no one there. <laughs> Has no lawyer, right. doesn't speak English, and his family just left him. <laughs> and they're not going to get called on. <laughs> Listen to I talk laugh. <laughs> it was this, is, this is his family. <laughs> yeah, I know this guy my whole life, but it was amazing. I love it. <laughs> So they're outside. Your mother and you are inside with the lawyer. Yeah. What well, happens? And, and my mom's friends. Everyone's in there supporting her. Sure. Um, so And who's in there supporting your uncle lawyer? No one. I mean, okay. the investigator was there, but he's not <laughs> representing anyone. Right. Um, okay. So she, my, the judge calls on my father to go and, and testify. And he goes Wait, on your his, father? I mean, uh, my uncle. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So, I was about to say, you're, you're, not, you're, this, you're probably right, actually. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she's asking him basic questions. What's your relationship with uh, this gentleman? Blah, blah, blah. And he, any simple question like that, he'll just go rambling about how much he loves my father. And like, it'll be like, uh, so you're the brother, right? Yes. And I love him. And it's just not fair what's going on. And my judge just has to like, like, like sure. I just I, can you please just keep it? Just give me the answer. Just and give me the answer. By the way, that stuff almost makes it sound like a lie. Like it's sa- like that sounds like he's doing too much. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I could tell that vibe is like it's airing all over the place. So I'm laughing too. So, <laughs> you like that? Yeah. <laughs> right. So he just keeps going on and on about simple shit. Uh, there's one question where the judge goes, "If I gave you guardianship over this gentleman, what would you do?" Or like, wh- how, like how would you take care of him? And he gives the stupidest fucking answer, which what is... What does he say? He goes, uh, I I still feel like there's a chance that he can get better, so I want to translate him to the Dominican Republic where there's a doctor that's ready for him. And I'm just like, oh, you, you totally fucking lost this one, dude. Like, you think so? Yeah. The, yeah. The judge is not going to fucking give you guardianship so you could send him to a fucking third world country. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to release someone from a hospital. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then he says... Uh, he said some. Oh yeah. So she, at least your dad would be easier to drag off the plane than that Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Oh, <laughs> so, so uh, he's going over the situation with uh, the multiple hospitals that we've been at, and he's just accusing the doctors of lying. He goes to the judge. Uh, he goes, "We went to this hospital and they lied about his condition, and then we went to this hospital and they lied to his condition. So I'm just tired of all these hospitals. I want to take him somewhere that I can trust. He's going to be in good hands and all that." That's so cool that your uncle is not only a lawyer but a doctor <laughs> yeah. as well. That's perfect. So then she's just asking straight for a question. She goes, "So all the doctors, what do they say?" They say, "They say, they say he does. They don't think he's going to make it. He's not going to get any better." And is so where where have they lied here? He's like, "Well, he's uh." I forgot the exact term he said. He's uh, he's 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 becoming more conscious, and then the, the the judge just goes, "Wait, wait, wait! He's becoming more conscious." He's like, "Yeah, like he's gaining weight." And she goes, "No, no, no, no! That's not what conscious oh, means." <laughs> <laughs> like he's just fucking up left and right. Right. He's not doing a good job legally. No, because no, like, <laughs> and I'm just like laughing because I'm seeing the typewriter, just like very like frustrated too. Like, 
What is he talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so he keeps saying these stupid ass things, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and like I can see the judge almost pitying him, and then there's like this uh, chick who's next to me who's friends with my mom, and she's like really hot. That's nothing to do with it, but um, mm. she's uh, like kind of. Cons- yeah. How old? Probably like twenty nine or something. Oh, she's yeah. super hot. How old's your mom? She's like fifty three or something. Okay. Like this twenty nine yeah. year old is just sitting there, titties out in the courtroom, so showing she's some so leg. Fucking hot. Yeah. She is right. So she she's a man. Like, huh? She's single. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Why don't you so, bring her by? You guys, we yeah. gotta get that new place. Bring her by the new. Take place. her downstairs. Eat a puss. Huh? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> so she's like consoling me because uh, she sees this is going on between my uncle and my mother, and she's like, she figures like I'm having such a like. Uh, like, like I'm really sad and I'm having this issue. So she's like, it's going to be okay. She's like rubbing my back. It's like, everything's going to be fine. And I'm just like laughing. Sure. Yeah, I just like, like nah, I'm, I'm fine. You're Trust laughing me. and wanting to fuck her. I mean, lots of things <laughs> yeah. you're grieving. Yeah. So um, when it comes to the end of my... You're like, it would help more. me more. You, you don't need to rub my back. The exactly. inner, inner thighs is where I, my grief is. You should is. have pushed her head to your lap and said, why don't you nurse on daddy? <laughs> oh, it's not a good catchphrase. <laughs> no. <laughs> So basically, get t-shirts made or something. <laughs> it's a hit. <laughs> so basically, it ends up with uh, my uncle is a complete mess, and the judge goes, "Okay, what about this?" Complete because, mess emotionally, or just the case? Just the case, because okay. he's not lying about anything, but he's just he's like sincere, yeah, yeah, like saying like, he's conscious and stupid shit like that. Just doesn't know what he's talking about. He, he doesn't know what he's talking about, but he, but the judge sees that he, that he cares about him and all that stuff. So she goes, "Okay, would you guys be okay with?" Not giving any of you guys custody of the guy, but leaving the custody to a like a legal attorney who can watch over the estate and make sure everything is fine. And he would consult with you, but you guys will not have custody of this man. Which, uh, like, my uncle was like, "Yeah, I mean, I guess whatever." La la. And my like, they translated to my mom, and she kind of agreed. Which, and I agree with it too. Yeah, because I don't trust my mother or this like my uncle with. Them taking care of my dad at all. I'd yeah. rather leave it to a fucking stranger. Yeah, good for the court. <laughs> the court actually saw that. No, neither one of these. Because they know that there's pri- property Wait, so you guys signed over everything to a lawyer? Uh, well, I mean, we didn't you sure it was anything. a lawyer or it was just some guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't sign anything, but the, the judge said, it's going to go, like, you're going to get a notice in two weeks. We're going to find out who's going to be the attorney that's going to be taking care of the estate. He's going to be looking for benefits that he that your father might be missing out on. He's gonna go up forward with the lawsuit that hasn't right. been, you know, that hasn't begun yet. God but, damn, what a comedy of errors this yeah. whole thing has become. But I'm happy that at least it's with someone that's confident and not with two fucking maniacs who, yeah, who are thinking of what they can, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I, I've already moved, like, I'm not moved on, but I've yeah, already you, you want him to die at this point. It's not that you don't love him. It's the, yeah. the fact that the poor guy is not gonna get any better. It's fucking yeah. horrible existence. Plus, you don't have a relationship with him. No, I, I mean, I do. Well, I mean, like, you know each other, but you're nah, not, I mean, like... He raised me for yeah. 25 years, so... Yeah. If he came yeah. out of the coma, what's the first thing you say to him? Uh, you got me. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd probably bring... I'd save that for later on, uh, that conversation. Would he die? Is he on breathing? Huh? Can say he again? breathe on his own? Uh, he, he could, but he would be struggling a little bit. So uh, it'd be uncomfortable, so we have a little... Ventilator or whatever. Yeah, yeah. a little tube. Fuck. Yeah. It's a rough way to Jesus. live, man. Because you don't know if he can feel and hear everything. Yeah. He could have itches. Like, that would drive me nuts. You think that someone might, might itch? Yeah. Fuck. I mean, that one, the guy in the airplane didn't even want to live after he got punched in the face. <laughs> I, I can't imagine, like, being what in a bitch. coma. <laughs> My God. Well, well I'm, I'm sorry to hear it, but I'm glad it worked out for him a little bit better. And yeah. I'm glad it was a fun day for you. Fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, was, I had a couple of laughs. Yeah. You're sad about it, though. The body, I'm, I, I'm sad about how it has to be. But it is what it is. Sure. I, Did your family leave talking? No, it's kind of. It was kind of just like a. All right, see you around. I'm probably not going to see you for a long time. But what happened to all those people that were standing in the hallway? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so they're uh, still there. They have no idea it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Been there for a week and a half. Yeah, like, we don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just, I walked outside, I was like, oh, it's over, dude, yeah, I'll see you around, I didn't, I even bothered to explain. Right, yeah. right, so, so you're on your way out, you saw, they were just standing there yeah. waiting. <laughs> yeah. How long did the oh, thing Oh, you last? should have lied to them, you guys, they, they gave you guys all the money, you one million. <laughs> <laughs> How long did the thing last? Uh, about an hour. So they were standing out there for an hour. Yeah. And then at the end of the hour, it was just like, see you guys later. Yeah. And Good. Yeah, I'm probably not going to see them for a while. Yeah. Good. At least, unless we get called to court again, which. You might. 
All right, yeah, no. I'll have you guys come in as witnesses. The judge had fucking wanted nothing to do with this. She was so no. That's the, actually a court smart case solution. going an hour is fast. <laughs> yeah, <she wanted. laughs> I honestly thought it was going to take a couple of days. Here. Yeah. 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 She was like, no, I'm going to give this to an attorney and you guys can get the fuck out of here. All right. Yeah. So funny. Yeah, it ended up fine. You don't think that's funny, Adrian? I do. It's really <laughs> fucking funny. Everything about it's funny. This is like, I mean, this uh, you talk about gallows humor. This would be it. Yeah. I'm sure something else will come up in a couple of weeks. There's, oh, I, can, I can never fucking relax. No. Like, uh, well, yeah, but you don't do anything to help yourself. No, you really do tolerate this shitty answer. Yeah, I try to stay out of it, but... No, but you got to demand the right answer. Yeah. Stay out of it. You're still living with her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking you're about. You're asking for permission to move downstairs. <laughs> yeah. 25 with your own money. You're not taking charge. Yeah. You're a well, man. that's the next step. Yeah. Yeah. Be a man. You get hair on those balls, right? Mm. A little bit. Oh. Teeny bit. That's right. Earn it. Earn it. I'll try. Yeah. You want to grow that beard in full? You got to get out from under mommy's teat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I, it's just Dominican moms are crazy. So. That's why you get away from them. Exactly. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. You, you can do you whatever want. you want to do. You're a big boy. Yeah. yeah I, I, I know, no, I, I know it's not like that, but I definitely will try to see what I can do about that soon. Oh, my God. Of all the non-committal. That's awful. <laughs> it's ridiculous, <laughs> isn't it? We should take a break, right? Yep. I want to piss. Um, August 5th, I'm in the Borgata at the end of this month. April 20th, 29th, I'm in Magoobies, and thank you for all the love on the Chip podcast. And uh, what do you got to plug anything, uh, Ricky? You got any gigs? Uh, I'm at USF. University of Southern Florida uh, Friday oh, cool. and um, opening for Artie over at uh, the Borgata. Um, Lang. Oh, cool. When is that? Uh, June 10th. Oh, good. June 10th. That's yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thanks, Hot Dog. I was glad to uh, get an update from you. Thank you. Very interesting. You want to get Hot Dog in here? Yeah, I would like to find out what's going on with this boy. So, Florentine, Hot Dog is our guy, and uh, he, his dad's in a coma. And then while his dad was in a coma from a construction site accident, yeah, got hit in the head. he found out that it wasn't his dad. That that man who's in a coma was not his dad. And So did he stop seeing him? Well, I said he should. He's, apparently he still visits him, and I don't understand that. Well, because he always knew him as his dad. Well, yeah, but still. Hot dog comment? He's my dad. Is he? Well, yeah, he raised me. He uh, that's not, not your... what I asked. Biologically, no. Oh, okay. But How he, did you he, find out he wasn't your dad? Uh, we had a whole, uh, legal proceeding, uh, cause we had an issue with like one side of the family and the other side of the family. And what it came down to is, uh, my mom wasn't being honest with me and, or she was just keeping that from me and the lawyer knew. So the lawyer advised her to tell me the day before the court hearing. Oh mm. yeah. But you, there, his mom did not handle that particularly well. No. In hindsight, there had been whispers about this for a long time. You just hadn't picked up on it. Correct. Yeah. It just wasn't. Obvious, right? Yeah. Now, now, what exactly did your mom say? Did she say, "Look, he's not your dad. This person is"? Uh, no, she called me. We had a court hearing at nine a.m. the next morning, mm -hmm. and then she calls me at eleven o'clock that night, and she goes, "Hey, by the way, if you hear that they say that he's not your father at court, just go along with it. That's, just go along with it. Yeah, that's how she told you. And yeah. you, had, you had been asking her about this." Uh, beforehand, no, because I knew it was going to be an issue. Uh, but yeah, that was like a one minute conversation on the phone. And she didn't give you any explanation? No, no, she just took it. Oh, well, now you know. How, is that how you, she finally told you? She, I mean, she now doesn't deny it. But you don't talk about it. Not as What's much. What's wrong with her? <laughs> do, do you know who your real dad is? I found out. Uh, well, so, <laughs> so he didn't, but there were, here's, like, he was talking about this in the office before. And... We would see photos of this guy who fathered his brothers, who lives in the Dominican Republic, and he just looks like a big version of Hot Dog. <laughs> so we were like, we were like, yeah. dude, this is this is who the guy is. And Hot Dog's like, no, 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 my dad's. And then we were like, no, 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 that's the guy. And apparently, when he was younger, before he would come to the house, it was her, her, his mom's ex boyfriend, right? Yeah, he would. They would tell Hot Dog. Hey, just so you know, if he comes over here and starts making cracks about being your actual father, just he's just kidding. What is wrong with your mother to allow that? Like, I don't understand that. You're an adult. Yeah. Yeah. How awful. The whole family's a little bit zany. Yeah, Fucked I mean, up, right? Zany is the right word. You already yeah, had they're brothers. madcap. You already had brothers through this guy, so what's the difference if there's another one? Right. I, yeah, I don't know why it was... 
Do you think so, he told the guy that he was his his kid? Maybe the guy knew. thinks that you're his kid. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe yeah, that's how she does. got your father. She probably told him, like, yeah, this is your son. Mm. Meanwhile, she was tapping your real dad. Did yeah. he make good money? Your dad right. that's in a coma now? Uh, he was a construction worker supervisor, so he, like... He made all right. So money. she probably did it because, like, all right, this guy, the guy, who, the other guy in the Dominican Republic, what did he? Did he have any money? Money or no, no. Uh, yeah, uh, see, this guy was like, all right, this is your baby. So and he's you can stay in the states. And and, like, and, he, and he did it. He was a good guy. He he, he raised yeah. hot dog. You know what I mean? He was. And they like, both all over came the from the Dominican Republic together at the same time. So she left. Uh, she and my dad, who's in a the coma, they came to the U.S. together while like the boyfriend stayed over there. In when the you were pregnant? When she was pregnant? Uh, like, definitely around that time frame. Yeah, she probably got knocked out and goes, it's yours, and then they came to the States. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing him anymore. That's my ex. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't put it to me well. <laughs> right, right. I swear. So, you went to Dominican Republic and found out who your actual dad was? Yeah. How'd you find out? <laughs> it was like 20 minutes before I came back to the States. Uh, you were there investigating and you got no answers? I was there for, no, I was there for a week and I was not with my family. I was okay. like on vacation. So right. I, a vacation from your family. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I figured I still have to spend some time with them. So I went to see them for like a day and a half. And it was fine. I go there and I see my grandmother and my aunt and all that stuff. And then uh, the next day I'm packing up to come back here. And then my uh, my ride is like 10 minutes or 20 minutes away. And then my... Uh, so I'm just saying my goodbyes. And then my grandma just starts, starts spouting things off because she's kind of... She's old and... right. And she just starts going. I, yeah, I, uh, I remember. I remember your father uh, when he was still alive, and you know he was a, he was a great guy. And it's a shame he died when you were so young. What? <laughs> yeah. So then, as soon as she says that, uh, my aunts and all that stuff just kind of like look at her, like shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? And I see her running to my grandmother to kind of to like silence her. And I'm kind of like playing stupid on my phone. Why are you playing stupid on your phone instead of going? Because yeah. I'm in shock still. Oh, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I'm like yeah, a hot dog doesn't do well with like. <laughs> Tell uh, these ants to mind their fucking business. He doesn't do well with real life conflict, and he kind of just wants everything to go away and just like not bother him. He doesn't when he, when when real life starts hitting him, he doesn't like that too much. Yeah, yeah. So like the little bit that I hear from them, like on the side, like trying to shut her up, it's just my grandma going. Well, he he's old enough. He knows. Uh, and who? So who was he? Uh, he was some guy that's related to my mother's best friend, uh, who passed away when I was a baby. He died when you were young. Yeah. Oh, okay. So wow. you, you never lost an opportunity to know him. Yeah, he was uh, dead the whole time. He died the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when he died? Do you know? I was an infant. So okay. Guessing, so yeah. then you know. So then this guy raised you basically. Yeah. yeah. As your dad. Wow. I wonder if you, I wonder if the guy knows he's not your dad. Maybe your mom kind of kept it hush hush and was like, no, well, well fuck it. And there's no reason to tell him. She whispered in his ear. That'll wake him up from the coma. <laughs> yeah. I think he knew because his dad, his side of the family knew. Okay. It yeah. makes me yeah the fact that he this. It's not the ex-boyfriend. It's some dude that died. Makes me think that the guy that raised Hot Dog probably knew. And there's a whole property thing with you now being tied into him, mm -hmm. and that was probably why they wanted to see because because now that they're not officially married, yeah, it's a whole it's a whole legal so issue. So the ex had nothing to do with it at all. No. So if he ever said he was your father, he was lying. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Were you kind of? Uh... But maybe he knew who the dad was, so he might have joked you. You know who your real dad is? He's died. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How did he die? Do you know? Uh, I don't know because I, I, I need to talk to my mother's best friend to try to get some information from her. I know I'm not going to get any info from my mom. She won't tell you? No, I'm not going to get any info from her. What will she say if you ask her? It'd be a whole argument. I, I, I know argument. 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 argument about what? Uh, oh, so I, all of a sudden she's going to be like, oh, so you don't care about your dad here? Why are you asking questions about this? Uh, Do you still talk to this woman? Uh, we're in better terms since I came back from vacation. You're a better, better guy. Than, I would literally I cut know. that person out of my life and say, yeah. I have fucking, I will never speak to you again. Yeah. That's shit. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to wreck your family no, relationship, uh -huh. but that's fucking awful. Yeah. It, inexcusable. You're uh, an adult and you're asking questions and she's just lying to you. Right. Or she just gets really defensive. And that's, but again, that's, that's crazy that's narcissism, worried about themselves. That's, yeah. that's insanity. Yeah. You're just trying to get by life with as few problems as possible and they, they have a way of finding you, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you have the right to know who your father is. I, medical, by the way, medical history. If you know your medical, his medical history should matter. Does he have cancer in the family? Fucking. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about him. I just know who he's related to. And that's about. I've it. never I would, met I would a, cut that woman out of my life in a fucking second. I've never yeah. met a guy more resistant to conflict with more conflict in his life than <laughs> Hot Dog. 
It's yeah, incredible. Because, because you're not doing conflict right. Like you're avoiding it until it's inevitable. Instead of just saying, look, we have to discuss this yeah. or I'm not going to be in your life. Right. I will literally not, you will not have me. And maybe she would just let you go. Maybe she doesn't care. So yeah. you didn't say anything at all to her about the fact that you I, know about this third guy? No, because it, it, like the mood changed as soon as I came back because I guess we had a break from each other. And yeah. like, if if it goes down to like if it goes downhill, but it doesn't. It's not even a negative what, conversation. What's a negative thing? You you found out who your father was. She's been lying to you. What are you worried? You're worried about upsetting your mother. Like you can. Yeah. You, it, Why are you such a codependent little fella? <laughs> <laughs> what if you had more of a conversation like, hey, you know, I found this out when I was down in DR. Like, could you just tell me about the guy? You know what I mean? Like, not like it's, accusatory. It's, Why didn't you tell me this and that? Just be like, hey, do you think? You could just tell me about who this person was. So yeah, it seems reasonable. Right. Yeah, but that wouldn't work with It her. would not well, work. Go, go yeah. with the angle like you're looking for his medical history. You just want to know, is there any, any way I could find out? Just so I know that, you know. That's something. I think know, the only it, way to do it like that. get at her would be to like ask cause for legal questions. Because that's the only thing she gets afraid of. Just like like if a lawyer asks something or something. And she has to tell the truth. But so so wait a minute. So how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two big brothers and one big sister. So but they're all would, half brothers and half sisters. This, uh, the, you're from the, this, yeah, from the ex. Wait, you're oh. the only guy. Right. You're the only person who was fathered between your mom and this dead person. Mm -hmm. Would you, that you know of? Who the fuck knows? Who yeah. knows if he had other kids that are your half brothers and sisters that oh, she right, doesn't know about? He might have other kids with different women. So basically, right. now if you left her life, would she miss you? Would she be sad? Yeah, she'd be sad so about that. that that's rent the check. only thing you can do. Yeah, because she, I mean, she has a good relationship with one other son, and like, she doesn't talk to her daughter and her like. It, it's yeah, she has a very complicated relationship. Because if you don't kiss her ass and you don't do her, right. everything uh -huh. her way, and you're not in her little cult. The, then yeah. you're out. She won't mm -hmm. talk to you anymore. So he still is. If he confronts her and challenges her, then he, he's out too. She I would cut her out. Either. I would literally see her at fucking functions and not acknowledge that I had ever met her before. Yeah. If someone did that to me, that's fucking horrible. You remember my ex that we used I to do. live with? Okay, so she was adopted, right? So <laughs> at one point, she's like, I want to find my real mom. So I went to the adopted mom. I said, look, she wants to find her real mom to find a medical history. She's like, her real mom doesn't want to talk to her. Her real mom told her, no, don't ever contact me. She hates her. She And she would tell my, my ex this during a whole childhood. Can I talk to my real mom? Can I just talk to her on the phone? She's like, she doesn't want to talk to you. She wants nothing to do with you. Stop asking. Finally, I just basically told her, I threatened the woman, the, the adopted mom, you better give me the fucking number because she had the information. And then we had a real mom, and our mom's been looking for her for fucking 27 oh my years. God, it's easy. It's, it's, it, people well, are bullshit. so yeah. insecure yeah. Like, and worried about their own place and yeah. their own relationships. People are fucking cunts. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Man. So it was all lies the whole time. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. That's crazy, though, dude. You didn't see that one coming, did you? No, it, it, it would probably take a really big argument or fight for. Like me to just be able to go. Why? Why even do? It? Why not just remove yourself? Like literally, you know the right answer. I'm sure she raised you and she fed you and she clothed you. Mm -hmm. And I, I understand almost maybe not telling you, but now that you're a man and you're saying I need to know, she's yeah. still lying to you and worried about her own. That to me is where it goes into narcissism and fucking disgusting. Her telling you when you're a kid one thing is one thing, and then like okay, he's not a little boy anymore. He finds out, but then to be mad at you for wanting to know for medical history is is inexcusable. Yeah, I mean that whole family was just keeping that from me, like both sides. Well, yeah. well again, I would just cut them out like a cancer. Yeah. I really, it's fucking horrible. But so, then you, you, they're still married though. Your dad that's in a coma, right? They're not married. married. Not. That's so the that, legal problem. So, all right. So you don't have a problem. So you could still go see your dad in the hospital, even if you cut your mom out of your life. Like, yeah, she can't stop I mean, that yeah, unless she wants to be a dickhead or something. And but she probably will be if you cut her out. I don't. So yeah, I don't know how. No, she, that, I wouldn't be able to cross that out. All she has to do is say, hey, man, I'm sorry. I made a mistake when you were younger. I should have told you. I didn't. I was embarrassed. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got knocked up. I wanted I'm, you to think that your dad was alive. I wanted you to think your dad was alive. And yeah. I just, you know, your other dad, you know, he was sick and he died early. So I just said, this is going to be your dad. I made a big mistake. I'm sorry. That's it. I should have told you. 15 seconds of a sorry. Where's this best friend of hers? Uh, she lives in Puerto Rico. Is, is she, she hot? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's like 60. <laughs> uh, uh, she, she visits every now and then. So you're basically right now you're in a holding pattern waiting until the next time she visits the States so that you can hopefully kind of corner her somewhere and ask about. Yeah, because it's pretty. She comes her here. Her like brother. You can said? you call her? Um, yeah. Why would you wait? Do people die? You're crazy. It's not something I would want to have over the phone. Then fly there again. How much is a flight to the DR? 
No, Puerto, Rico. Puerto Rico. Uh, how much is the flight to Puerto Rico? I don't know. I've never been there. It's not very three hundred bucks. All right, we'll fly you down to Puerto Rico if you want to go see this woman. Uh, I mean, no, she comes often. Okay. Yeah. How often? When's the next time she's coming? Like maybe every three months, every two months. Or when was the last time she was here? I'd say three months ago. So four we're months ago. we're due. Yeah. Yeah. The show. It's her son. The show will fly you to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. I mean, you can I find you can find your own hotel. That's, <laughs> let's not get crazy, but no, I think she'll be coming here soon. I would hope so. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise, you got to have the conversation over the phone. I mean, you got to yeah. have the conversation. So, Just, how is this person related to your mom's best friend from Puerto Rico? Do we know? I I don't know. Cousin, be, brother? Yeah, could be brother, or cousin. I, I have no idea. No, so I you're not sure if you, if the dad that's in a coma knows that you're not his real son. You don't know. I think he knows. You think he does? You think yeah. he does? Yeah, because like looking back at it when I was like a teenager and stuff, I would hear stuff like, <laughs> and yeah, I would hear stuff like um my father's side because they don't like my mother very much and going that's not even like, why not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so he knows. I think. Yeah, he. Yeah, I think he knows. It's, Especially because, like, where we live in my uh, in DR, it's a very small town. So if like word gets around, yeah. So the whole town probably knows, but you didn't know. <laughs> you're the only one. Yeah. But, you're, but uh, by the way, the only reason you don't know is because you decide to like you dig a hole under a rock and move in. Like every okay. time something like this comes up, you go. Yeah, I found this out, and it really surprised me. But in hindsight, it makes sense, because when I was growing up, I used to hear them say this or that. And well, that like, was the last year. Before that, there was 24 years of me not being... You, you weren't suspicious for 24 yeah, years. I had no reason to question Sure. You, you now, as you get older, you start hear, hearing rumblings. Yeah. That's where she fucked up, just by not telling you once you heard the rumblings. Yeah. Hey, yeah. if this guy jokes with you about not being your dad, like, what? Yeah. Who the fuck would say that? I mean... I told you the last time that, I mean, the first time that I really heard it was when I was sleeping in bed and I overheard my brother and my aunt talking about it. But you're also, an, how old are you, 25? Yeah. You're also an adult. You're not a kid. Like, you should you should address this stuff. Differently. Like, if they say something and you overhear, you shouldn't pretend you're on your phone. You're a fucking grown up. Or, yeah, or pretend to be sleeping in my room. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a fucking you're a child being molested. You're a fucking. <laughs> are, are, are you... Steve Gutenberg's here. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, you know, you should, you should say something. You don't yeah. have to be. And if, if, instead of arguing, just walk away. Just, I would move the fuck out. It's a really big leap for me to take. Yeah, no, I know. It's easy to say. I, I yeah. guess it's easier for me to say. Yeah. All right, buddy. All right. We're going to we're gonna keep checking in with you. Yeah, I am curious. Yeah, me too. But not the same way okay. you are. 